All right, so here on my new YouTube channel, I I needed a game to start with. And so I decided to start with Grand Blue because the game, for me, it kind of just came out of nowhere, specifically Grand Blue Relink. I, I haven't played the original Gotch, I haven't played the fighting game, but I just, I don't know, it stood out to me and I played the demo and I really liked it. But I know next to nothing about Grand Blue and my chat has constantly been testing me and teasing me to see like they, they think i know things like oh do you what about this character that character i'll be like i don't know anything i'm clueless so here's what i'm gonna do for this for this video i'm gonna go through all the characters of the gotcha which i think somebody told me in terms of individual characters it's like 200 or so. i i know there's like multiple versions of of the characters so like uh, there's a there's a bit of a problem there, but I, I'm just going to scroll through the list. When I see a name, I'm going to look at the character. Now, I'm not going to look at what they do. I'm not going to look at wh what they're known for. I don't want to know what their tier list is. I'm just going to say if I like the character, don't like the character, would want them to be in Relink or would not like them to be in Relink. Um, now, I don't really know exactly what I've gotten myself into here. Um, I, all it says here is that this it's it's just it's a long list. So I can't help but notice, however, that if I as I scroll down, the number here is really scary. I don't <laughs> I don't know that I like that very much. Uh the, can I can I sort this? Okay, it doesn't start from one. However, that's not necessarily a good thing, but that's that's just including all of all, all of the units as a whole. So I had it sorted by name. So that way I could do that. I obviously already clicked on one to make sure that it was working. And it has all the information on the side of like when they were released and how they were obtained and all that stuff. Great. We'll stick to the first few columns here. We're going to look at the name, maybe the element. And then, you know, I don't really care. I can tell what weapon they're using. I'm not blind. But we're, we're going to stick to just each character once, regardless of if they have SSR promos or whatever, whatever they're doing. And I could throw collab characters in there, but those, unless I don't recognize the collab character, then it doesn't really matter. So uh, let's, let's get started. Cause I have a feeling that I'm gonna, I'm gonna be here for a while. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the SSR instead of the SR, even though this is a promo one for Abby. So Abby, as I, I already, this one's kind of cheating. Cause I already knew because I needed a test case. I should have used one from Relink. Um, girl with an ax with a bear. This gives me like, so I, anytime I see a girl with a, with a, like what looks like a teddy bear, I, he's definitely not a teddy bear, but he's he's made to look like a teddy bear. Um, I think of Annie, but she's got a a huge axe alongside of her. This is this is like quintessential. So here's the thing: I I, I already like her because I I like Puppet Master like characters, and I know that this isn't really Puppet Master; it's more Beast Master. But like the the whole I have a pet thing is something that always is a better option for me. <laughs> so uh, Abby is definitely a play because I would love to see what a character like this plays like in a third person action setting. Does the bear automated? Is the bear just part of combos? Um, not to mention again, I just like the aesthetic for this character. She's also fire element. I see that right here. So we've always got that to consider. Now next we have Adam. Oh, we got like the corporal here. Uh, I'm not super into the whole like super formal, like what looks to be a military guy uh, at the type that says he's a prime minister. Like it's it, for me, it's I, I don't know. It's 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 it doesn't it doesn't work for me. I'm not I'm not super into into this one. He is an earth type, which I think is, you know, that's cool and all. But uh, the oldest and greatest golem ever built. All right. That's. They 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 chiseled that golem in a very very particular way, uh, but yeah, I'm not super wild about that. I wouldn't be crazy to get him put into relink and any, oh, they got a horned guy. Listen, I already have gone to Goza. Do I really need another another guy who's probably I'd assume of a similar race to the I don't I don't really know how the races work or whatnot. It says it says draft on the right, so if, I guess I, I'll check to see if Gone to Goza is, is also also a draft. Um, and see if there's what the overlap is and what the definition is right here. Um, so Agilba, uh, uh, Adam is part of the main story for Grand Blue. All right, that's fine, but still, yeah, draft. Oh, he's like, no, he's like Narmaya. Okay, okay, that's fine, that's fine. Um, yeah, I don't know that to me, this, this just 
it rings kind of generic in a sense. Uh, I'm not super wild about the design, the tattoos, the like draconic looking armor and whatnot. And the sword looks kind of weird. It's like a big sword, but it looks like a toy. I don't know how else to describe it. I'm not, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not into this. This isn't, this isn't really working for me. Um, somebody says to check his five star art to see if it's better. I mean, yeah, he looks edgier. I guess his sword looks a little bit better, but Again, I'm still I'm still just kind of not wild about the aesthetic. I don't know if I saw to me this would just ring as like generic fantasy character with with horns. I don't know. This just this isn't this isn't doing it for me either. So uh yeah, he's another one that I'm not like crazy about. I feel like especially with what's already in Relink in terms of characters, like I don't look at him and go, "Oh, that that's someone who should be in." I really want like unique characters. Like there's no character like Abby. She's the only character that I look at so far of the three and I go, "Yeah, that would be a cool thing to have added in." Yeah, and he's like he's different generic pretty boy number god knows what. I mean, I could check the other arts, which the arts are cool. It's not like there's anything wrong with this character, but I have to always consider what would I want a, another character like this in the game, you know? Yeah, he gives me kind of like Lancelot vibes. Who again is already is already in it. He's got big shoulder pads. You give him that. So, yeah, Lord of Frost. No, I'm definitely not wild about this guy. So so far we're 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 one for four, and the one is a small girl with an axe and a teddy bear. I do not need to know what the Valentine version looks like. Although I'm curious what. Aglavale and Tor is. I guess that's him and one of his disciples, the Thawed Blade of Frost. I mean, I think a, a, I think dual units like this are not a bad idea in terms of like what you could throw into Rising Relink. So I think duo units as a whole, I'll give this to him only because it's the first one, but you're only in by default because I think it'd be a cool idea to have a duo unit in the game. It's, it's very similar to the reason why I kind of like Abby. I like the idea of duo units in the game. You kind of achieve the same, same thing with like one unit that has two modes, kind of like Narmaya, but all the same. That's no, okay, I'll, I'll give him that. So, yeah, Taurus, the dude on the side. Well, I mean, <laughs> pure fighter. Yeah, that's that's one way to describe it. Y'all, some of y'all were waiting for me to get to to Airi Totoki. Uh, so totally a character I could see them adding at some point. Cinderella Fantasy is this, is this like a is this a collaboration of some kind that I'm like unaware of? Because I guess this is just the name of the event itself. This is a crossover character. Okay. That's that totally makes sense. Yeah, because I can see the how to recruit on the side. So that tells me here. All right. So, uh, yeah, she's an idol master. All right. So that's fine. All the same. I'm going to leave the the collaboration characters out of it. I was like, but I could see them doing it for the fan service because, you know, it is what it is. Ooh, what's this? This character I kind of want to know about a little bit more because I can see on the right that he's something called an evoker. And that is an interesting prospect to me kind of as a whole, because I'd assume that means, yes, it's a good thing I clicked the other arts. I am going to have to click through some of the other arts here because this is more re representative of what I would think. Yeah, he's 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 got a, a summon or a stay. I guess. Hold on. What did this one have more than one? No, that's just a different appearance for him. That looks pretty cool. All right. Yeah, he's got some. All right. Hold on. Yeah, no, I think I think this is another one that I can I can throw in to a list of ones I'd like to see fight. Again, it's kind of cheating because it's another duo unit, but I like the idea of having, I guess, summoner-esque characters. He's got like a mix of like a, of like a monk. Like this in particular is less summoner and more like, you know, martial monk with the look to it. Uh, and that's kind of same what he looks like here. But here he's got like the flame wings with uh, his pet. This one of a kind priest does good deeds. It does, surprise, does it not make mention of the evoked i mean i'm sure if i look at the name of the abilities it probably does um but yeah no i don't i'm not really reading what they do i just wanted to see the it's just a sub out when they are a sub ally yeah it's uh i guess maybe the name is renation creed the sun all right yeah i guess that it's just uh the sun touched paradise okay there's all that stuff here uh tarot card forms interesting Okay. Uh, yeah, there's nothing like this. So maybe I'll find an evoker that I think is cooler, but that one's, that's a good start. That's a good first exposure to evoker at the very, very least. Albert, <laughs> sir, you're not supposed to grip the sword by the blade, even when there is a cloth in between the two of you. Uh, 
so yeah, he's kind of a. I mean, yeah. Again, when it's just like another sword user, I mean, he's. Hold on, again, I should really look at the other arts to see. Okay, he does know how to hold his sword properly. I feel like Phantom Swords and stuff. See, I'm really into the whole Phantom Sword esque thing. So that uh, the other arts definitely make him see. I definitely need second art and five star arts to look at for like half the characters here. Oh man. Uh, but I mean, other than that, nothing immediately draws me to this character. I wouldn't say, uh, but I do like this aesthetic. So, I mean, on this alone, just seeing how that kind of stuff fights, let me put it this way. The idea of like phantom swords and phantom like objects attacking. I, I, when I played blaze blue, I was, a, I was a new 13 and I didn't play uh continuum shift. So for me, it's still, it's new 13, uh, for obvious reasons. I played new 13 <laughs> because I really enjoy that kind of that kind of fight style and aesthetic and like the the kind of mix up mix and match. I was also a scumbag on the internet or I'm sorry on online matches because I was playing him and got not my unfair share of hate messages. So, you know, maybe I could achieve that with Albert too. You know, just just look cool but everyone hates you. And I could see he has other forms, summer, dark event. We're going to leave all of those. Uh, then we've got Alec, who looks like a, a dual mage. So I think that Io is the only mage that in the demo in particular. And I think they could do with more mage characters. Now, again, he also, I can't help but notice, has knuckles as his main weapon. But I guess his knuckles are really just how he handles the Because you can see all the magic is actually coming out of his fists. So he's actually a melee character is the thing, though. So he's not like a mage. He's, he looks like a mage. He's dressed like a mage. But he's a monk. So he's a monk, so he's in. Uh, that's obvious. Uh, you know, can't can't really fight with that. I just have to move on to the next one. That's a that's a Gandalf level thing because I've the only other wizard I've seen fight with a staff and a sword is Gandalf. Uh, it's got some cool. Although his is just, although his is yeah. I mean, oh, I guess actually it's a it's not a staff. It's actually the the hilt looks like a staff, but it threw me off. It is actually like a set of of dual blades in some capacity. Okay, yeah. It's just, it, it has, it's like, it's, I guess it's like the old man, like trick in, in, in some media where, oh, it's a walking stick, but it's actually a weapon kind of deal. Um, what's a, what's a movie I saw recently where someone had a walking stick that was actually a sword. It was an old, uh, Michael J. White movie, um, bone, blood and bone. I think it is <laughs> like, that's a bad example, but like, I just saw it in recent media that like kind of that kind of oh it's a walking stick but no it's actually a weapon kind of thing so yeah it's, it's fresh on my mind yeah uh i can't really tell too much else about him from that uh but he does have a he's got a very conflicting but kind of unique aesthetic so yeah i'd i'd allow that i'd i i he's 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 higher on the list of player of of play or pass i guess we'll call it a uh, divine protector of the godly realm i'm just making sure on the right that it is this is not a crossover cuz wildly different aesthetic from before um we don't really have uh, so this is a more unique looking great sword user i can't help but notice there's like phantom like shard pieces around her as well that's a big thing they're like well i guess they're not really phantom shards they're like crystal shard pieces that i'd imagine she's earth type and she's her style's defense so yeah i guess i'd guess they're largely protective and in, in most of that uh so these i don't know i kind of i kind of like this one off, off the back of just the few images that we have here. The the crystal shard bits really sent me. If she didn't have that kind of added aesthetic to her, I might not be as interested. But it's, it's always funny. We have the earth and defense type. But I mean, to be fair, I see this and I go, yeah, that's how your average defense type would be designed in a game like this. <laughs> Do not click the summer. Listen, I already know what to expect from all all of the summer options. I don't even need to click them because I know how it's going to, I know what's going to happen. <laughs> I, I, I can already tell what's going to happen. All right. So I'm going to move over to Alistar or Alistair, actually a little magus. I wasn't expecting that. I obviously am a bit tainted by the name Alistar or Alistair because I think of a giant cow. That's immediately what will go to my mind. Um, but I mean, I, I, it's got a, a pro <laughs> It's really funny when I see it in sprite mode to see a, a, a protractor and uh, 
God, what's the other one called? I haven't had to actually use these in a math class in ages. And I just call it a triangle. She has math weapons. She has calipers there and everything, too. So she, and a pen and there's all this. Yeah. Um, fairly interesting in terms of aesthetic. Also a water character. I notice on the right. Uh, but I don't know. Otherwise, I'm not. I'm not crazy about it. I think the weapon type is interesting, but I'm not I'm still not too crazy about this this character as a whole. So, you know, I'm I'm going to say no to that one. I feel like we were, we went on a streak of yeses. Uh there's a care. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Monk, she's in. That's it. You went already. I think for some people she was going to be in anyway in terms of like want was definitely going to be in because you know, monk definitely what other people were thinking but you know monk fists she's in she's in yeah yeah oh there's a summer outfit for her too why well, am i not surprised moving on to alaya uh is she a dancer she looks like it she looks like she might be a dancer well i mean that's that's kind of an in for me automatically because i'm down okay well yeah i mean she's got that kind of dancer aesthetic but she is just a, a more general sword user. This is a character I feel like I need to know more about. I feel like I feel like I need to I need to know more about it because there's not enough from the aesthetic. It's a, a mile I, again. I, I I like the dancer style aesthetic here. Her grand unit. You want me to click the Alaya grand unit? That is technically her alt. Okay, that's fair. Um, I don't see. Oh, did you mean the Eliza Grand? Oh no, no, I see what you want me to do here now. Oh, no, 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 no. I see. Yeah, her base version is the Golden Knight. Okay, so this character I'll see again later. A Golden Pawn. Okay, so she kind of goes through like a like an ev evolution as a character at some point. Okay, that's fine. So we'll get to that later. If it's if her base unit's called Golden Knight, then we will. Then we'll when we get through the list, we'll get to that. Oh, that's 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 a yes. So look at the weapon. The weapon alone sells me. Again, I have a feeling I know what other people are gonna go for, and I'm sure if I click the second dart, no, that's that's still that's still along the lines of the first dart. Yeah, there's there's nothing like I haven't seen anything like that yet. Interesting that she's a she her exp bonus is a is craftsman. Her specialty is an axe, of course. It's interesting because it's it's I don't, it's hard to even call. I mean, I guess axe is just the classification of the weapon, less what the weapon is, because it's really like a hammer and a scythe at the same time. It's got the giant blunt end for smashing and it's got the back end for, for slashing. So that one, that one's good. Yeah. Cause she's a craft. I mean, it's a giant hammer. It's like, it's, a, they put it as an axe classification, but it is a giant blacksmith hammer that also doubles as a scythe. That's clearly what it is. And she's also dressed like a mine, like like she mines, like she's she's standing on like stone or coal or whatever. She's got dynamite sticks in there, so she's dangerous. Yeah, no, she's she's a yes too. She even got the lantern around the hip. No, we good. Oh, of course she has a summer. Why wouldn't she have a summer outfit? Why wouldn't why why wouldn't she? Of course she has. She has a summer outfit. Of course she does. Altair, what are you doing standing like that? You look like an idiot. All right, that's better. That's that's still better. I'm not very interested though. How's his weapon a staff? He's holding the book right there. He doesn't what? <laughs> no, this guy's lame. Maybe his character is good. I'm not interested in this at all. I don't like him. This is I, I'm on un, I'm uninterested. Consider me uninterested in Altair right off the bat. We got to get through this list a little bit faster anyway. All right, uh, Amelia. Yeah. Not super interested again either. Just night, you know. Got a, it's got a little scantily clad bit going here with the outfit here. She knows she she knows what she's working with, but meh. Not not particularly interested in any reason. Then we have Amira, who it looks there again dressed like a mage, but I notice a sword. All right. Well, I don't have to give a vote because I can already tell. She just has, okay, she, she, does she transform? She's got to do like transforms and shit too. That's got to be, she's got to be a tray. Like, she's, what is that? That's just her second art. That's not even like anything else. That's just second art, which means this and this are part of the same thing. So yeah, she transforms into a demon. All right. Well, that's more interesting. I suppose she also has this out. She just she's just 
dresses around just a bunch. Yeah, <laughs> Sprite and second Sprite. <laughs> hat, no hat. I thought it was gonna be like a second art Sprite like this. <laughs> It's all right. Uh, this is also apparently a crossover character, I suppose. Um, I was hoping it would maybe say that down here, just as it's part of the classic draw. Oh, my God. No, we don't want to blow that up any bigger. All right. She she originates from Rage of Bahamut. That's also from Psy Games. All right. That's fine. Girl from the Fallen Sky. All right. That's fine. Yeah, I mean, the demon transformation is whatever, but, you know, it's I, I can't really tell enough about them. A magic fencer, <laughs> very idolistic, I suppose. And that is fitting because she is also a collaboration character, Cinderella fantasy. That's the same as the other one. I picked up on it pretty quick because it had a very similar aesthetic. So we're not going to throw them in there. That's perfectly fine. Get out of here, Anastasia. Yeah, I can even see idol master collaboration. It actually says all the way to the right when they're a part of a collaboration. Um, and it says idol master collaboration on the right. So, you know, got that one down. We got. I like so I I like the, the there's a lot going on in this between the halberd, the shield, and the wing that he has on his back. There's a lot going on with this guy. Oh, yeah, he's in. Yeah, 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 he's in. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's in. Oh yeah, that's absolute. Yeah, he's defense type. He's got a shield. He's got this giant cannon that he looks like it can form. Yeah, he's definitely in. Please, please get this man. Please get this man in the game. I should probably have looked at who all the remaining relink characters are before I did this list. I think it's fun and funner if I don't because I only know the demo characters. All right, so she got Nimbus and she rides around on the Nimbus and summons monkeys and flowers and literally throws hands, I guess. So that's what's going on here. I kind of like this. So this is a Zodiac character. Interesting. Premium Gala Zodiac character. Hmm. She, yeah. Guardian of the Southwest and one of the 12 Heavenly Generals. So, uh, yeah. I mean, I guess she's supposed to be kind of a play on, um, on, uh, I mean, it's, I, I don't really like calling her a play on Wukong. I mean, she has elements of that in her design and some of these, some of the, the bits here. Uh, Based on one of the Chinese zodiacs. Every Chinese New Year has a character. Okay, so she's based on the year of the monkey. Okay. So she is, yeah, it's just, I don't really get that vibe from it outside of a few small bits. But I mean, they're going for, you know, they know what they're doing with this one. Yeah, it's kind of interesting though. I mean, the fact that she she presents more like a mage, but she's a staff melee. Um, so she's got a lot of, she's got a lot going on. So she's going to be a yes, as far as I'm concerned. All right. And of course, she has a summer outfit. Why wouldn't she have a summer outfit? I mean, at this point, I don't even know why I bother wondering about it. It's just, it is a thing. Oh, see, I'm okay. I'm big on the kind of like classic fence. The hat's ridiculous, but I like the, the like straight up fencer aesthetic. I think that this is kind of an aesthetic that I'm going to see a lot. And I'm kind of, it's kind of cheating because I'm being exposed to it. I mean, we've already seen it a little bit. Another dual wield character, that dual rapiers in this case, but I am kind of a sucker for that aesthetic specifically. So, uh, I'm going to, uh, she's She's going to get a yes too. I think that could be a lot of fun. A little fast zippy character with that one. Just a Halloween outfit. All right. Then we have Anila who also is okay. This is another Zodiac character. This is the year of the Ram. I just, yeah. I mean, it's her weapon is literally called Ramulus. So, yeah, I just I just have to look over here for the Zodiac characters. You can't see it off the right hand side, which I guess I could fix technically here. They, it gives me that kind of information. I was just the chat's going to be kind of like invisible at this point if I do that. But you can see that I do actually get this information over here on the right. But I'm just making my judgments real quick off of that. Um, yeah. So let me let me actually judge now because I can't really tell much about her. Yeah, so I get kind of the idea of what they're going for with the character. So I feel like the Zodiac characters are kind of a rough batch because to me, it seems like it would be kind of like it feels like you have to have all of them, right? 
So that's the only issue I'm really having with them is that they all seem to be into her aesthetic kind of overly matches, I think, with the other Zodiac character I've seen so far. And that's on purpose, obviously, like because they're part of this 12 divine generals bit. and They're all kind of sharing the same theme. Uh, she's a draft as well. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not I'm not as I guess I, I suppose impressed. She's another spear user, but I'm not like crazy about I, I, I I'm not I'm not crazy about it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say no. Nothing particularly wrong with her, but I'm gonna say no. But of course she has a summer outfit, so you know, there's always that as well. You know, that's uh yeah, that's always gonna be a thing that's there. Uh so now I have Anna for all three. I'm gonna check the Anna SSR unit in particular. Uh I'm just gonna click that one instead. And I mean, she's got like the 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 classic witch aesthetic, and she has a lantern and a broom. She's got the little, you know cat the 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 little like cat puppet she's even got candles from her the bottom of her dress uh, i don't know i'm not i'm not into it it's 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 just witch it's just she's just she's witch you know i don't know i'm not crazy about this one either i do want more casters but i'm just not crazy about i'm just not crazy about that all right that's it uh, and all right we've got another i guess i'll say a stand user i suppose uh which is fine, but I mean, her actual design, like, I'm not into the, like, she's like, it's like a schoolgirl with, like, a giant, like, knight. She's a princess. She uses her summons to protect those she loves. All right. Yeah, no, I'm not, I'm not crazy about the straight up, like, schoolgirl aesthetic here with this one. Like that. Like, she's, she's like that. And that's, that's, that doesn't do it for me. So I'm, uh, I'm going to say, I'm going to say nay, actually. I think I've already said yes to a handful of them at this point. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to say, yeah, because that damn mustache, this dude is extra as heck. Oh, he's the first one. I think that's had a six star art as that. that my, my dude here is, is all right. That's that. Okay. I'm, I'm going to say yes to that. I like it. Like I just said, I wanted another mage aesthetic. Or I wanted more mages, but that's, I, li I like that. <laughs> Oh, now chat's telling me that they're an eternal, which is a big deal. It should be. It makes sense as to why they would be one of the only ones with a six star art thus far. And, but yeah, he's uh, he's not even a mage. Yeah, he's a he's a he's a defense user. So he's got it's a spear more than a staff. It's just because he's an eternal. He just he just it's just magic. That's just it. He's he is a sage. He's just he's just magic. It even says he's a sage down here. But that's a spear, more of a spear than a, it's just covered in, in Eternals magic. He does also have the phantom weapons thing going on. I hadn't noticed these were phantom weapons, which, you know, that's a win. He was a win when I first saw him anyway. So that's that was fine. That was fine and done. All right, I like this one's description. Oh, yeah, that's that's a yeah. That's an easy. Yeah. Jeez. Yeah. Forbidden Inferno. That's her weapons. Her fists are covered in fire. Her f her fire also acts like an extension of like the the kind of flowing dress bits that she got going here. So yeah, no, she's 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 a yeah. She's she's a definite yeah. That's that's going on the list. She does not have a summer outfit. Uh, this is an Idol Master collaboration uh, on Zufutaba. I'll give it a look, but I'm not adding them to the list. Would have been a no anyway. So that's fine. Uh, and then we have Iodos <laughs> gonna beat me with this loot. End of the. That bothers me. That bothers me. End of the. She's a rock star. Definitely the the first of this kind that I've seen, and I think that generally we should try to hit more uh, options when it comes to the other games. I'm not that crazy about the design. I kind of hope there's somebody else with a similar uh, kind of vibe but it's just like design wise is just more more my vibe but i mean it's fine i would say yeah but if i get another character like this i have a feeling there's another character i'm gonna i'm gonna like more than him because he's just uh i don't know it's just not it's just not doing it not doing it he's got he's got he's got good energy so look see that's good energy right there he's, he's got to go he's got it going on but yeah, I don't know. I'm not I'm not too crazy about that that particular bard aesthetic. So I can't help but notice a Quars. This I guess is a character that's been getting older in the story. 
and changing. That, that's the kind of vibe I get from it before I even click on it. That's first year, second year, third year. So I guess a young character that's that either that or it's because there's no information on the right about this character. So I guess uh, it's a group from oh, it's another collab. OK, it doesn't say that on the right. OK, we don't need the collabs. I'll, you know, what? I'll click on one. Just to see. Ah, I see. I see how it works. Yeah, it's like a triple unit. Okay. Uh, and then we've got Arissa, who's... Yeah, we don't actually... I know it's crazy to think that I haven't seen a bow user. This is a Shadowverse collaboration too anyway, but I just realized I haven't seen a bow user at all. Like at all up to this point. There's a harp user. That's something else. I mean, we had another... Yeah, we had another collaboration character to skip, but yeah. I, you know, I'd prefer the harp... Than the than the lute or the guitar at this point, um, I just I don't know something about the the bard design. Just I don't know it didn't it, it just didn't do it for me. His design didn't work, but her yeah I, I like the I, I like the idea of having a harp because here's the thing I think of like what the support skills look like in in relink right now. Uh, and by the way, I realize I'm in the wrong category. I meant to set myself to the relink category. I'll fix that in a second, but. Uh, it's uh yeah i don't know so something i don't i both like want these types of characters and don't want these types of characters like i don't know something it's it's like working and not working at the same time for me i i, I don't know how to put it it's uh it's just it's just weird hmm wasn't song gonna be in relink as a free dlc in a few months okay well i mean i haven't gotten that character yet so i guess i'll get that aesthetic in some way shape and form uh, Arthur, I have a feeling. Yeah, I you know what? I I expected it to kind of look like this. And for that alone, I'm kind of like, yeah, I don't know this. To me, this is too generic. Like maybe the character is good, but that's that one's going to be a no. So uh, there is a dual unit, though, Arthur and, and Mordred. But that's no, that doesn't convince me any more than the last one did. Uh, is this a no, it's a classic draw. This character is a lot different. I don't like the way this character is looking at me. That's that's all I gotta say. I don't I don't like the way she's looking at me. That's it. Very the the weapon is certainly interesting. The like orb that she has, it's like a giant astrosphere. I mean, she even has a moon on her head. She has the stars around her, so she is kind of that. Uh, I get the idea. A lot of gravity magic, time magic stuff like that. Um, Oracle prodigy. Yeah, no. I mean, I think I think some of the aesthetics are cool. I just don't like the way she's looking at me. So um, I'm gonna I'm gonna say no uh arusha this is wow that's just i mean y'all know what i'm thinking right now because you know where my uh content overlap is i do like the little uh cat summons that she has here too but that's um that's a scholar yeah i mean literally she is a scholar like that's that's what she gets her bonus exp from she's literally a scholar but uh so yeah where do i get expedience from this I mean, that's this is fine, but I'm not again, I'm not crazy about it. Maybe I'm jaded because I'm just used to that aesthetic after so many years that I'm just like not crazy drawn to it. Oh, crossbow. See, another deal. Like, that's the thing. I, I want at least characters because we I, I mean I have Rackham and Rackham's hilarious, but like I really want to make sure that there's at least some representation of all the different types of weapons. And her being a cross again, I'm not kind of it's kind of like crosses like closely to like being kind of schoolgirl-esque, and I'm not like crazy about that. But I do like the aesthetic. She's a diligent shooter. She's got a serious face on. Yeah, I haven't said yes to anyone in a while. So I, you know what? I'm going get a yes for that one. She looks kind of generic, which is why I think I'm going to find a better design later that's like in a similar vein. Yeah, she's she's also kind of, she's still kind of cool, this one, the goddess of defense. Gee, I wonder what she's good for. Um, but again, I'm not kind of crazy about this, I suppose. She has that kind of like stoic vibe. Where she's just like she's like ultra serious and like all the things. Um, no, I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling it. Normally, like I think a lot of it is like the the shield. I, I love giant shield aesthetics, but something about the way it's presented here, like I'm like not interested in it like at all. It's just I just, I like the shield, but everything else is just like I don't know. I'm not I'm not super interested. May, uh, may, maybe I'll come back to that one. We'll see. Uh, this is Grand Blue Fantasy Orchestra Concert, Sierra Links Together in Song. So, so 
clearly a collaborative character of some kind, or maybe a character they made specifically for this one. We are still on the letter A. Like I said, we're going to be here a while. Uh, thanks, Alice, for the 66 months. Is somebody give me... It's not a collab, but she... Exi- okay. Yeah, it's, it's interesting, because she's, like, only part of, like, a, a live event. Yeah, she's a live event exclusive. Um... And she has a cello. As I mean, a cello as a weapon is kind of cool, uh, but I don't know. I'm I, I couldn't imagine being excited playing a character that uses a cello. So I'm gonna be like, no. He better have a really good second art, or he's just out. Because okay, he's 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 he punches. He's in. Okay, no, he's in. That's fine. That's fine. The other art saved him. Yeah, no, he punches. Yeah, no, he's in. He's in. That's it. Oh, he has a summer outfit. Would you look at that? Azazel. Generic, generic fucking pretty boy de- wing demon. I don't even know. But no, this uh, generic as heck. I can't say yes to this. I can't. I can't do it. I can't do that. That's a no. That's a no from me. I'm, I'm so uninterested. All right. And this I already have. I uh, Yeah, th- this one's already kind of, may- maybe something about that second form does the trick. But no, I already have. I already have. Uh. Narmaya and like this just too similar of a vibe with Narmaya katana horns the whole thing D- different look but still uh ball that sounds like a cool really NPC zoom three come on now there we go at least one of them worked uh I don't maybe the other images are better the ones I can't see maybe Let's find out. Let's try reloading it. Yeah, that's better. That's definitely better. Oh, he like summons stuff through like black holes. See this? Oh, and he also has. Yeah, he he does. Remember when I said there's bound to be someone with a cooler aesthetic, bard wise? Yeah, I mean he definitely wins over the other one. So I uh, he'll. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. For sake of of picking the better one, he's the better bard. He wins. He wins over the other guy. That's it. Uh, so definitely, definitely. T- oh, and he has a fire form as well. Bakara. There's Bakara and Balurga. All right. He's got a flute. No. No. I already don't care. What about Balurga? He's got a claw. That's kind of cool. Iron Guard. Name of the weapon. I don't, I think no again. I, I, I It's not even, I don't think this one's bad. I, I like this better than some of the other ones I said no to, but I'm, I'm not too crazy about the, the claw. All right, that's it. Uh, Bautorda. No. Super generic. Definitely, definitely no. I don't know. The second art's a little better. And again, big shield. It's not even that big of a shield. It's kind of small here. It looks a lot bigger here. Yeah. No, I'm... Uh, yeah, I'm not doing that. No. Uh, he does have an SSR version. Maybe that saves it. I think I think the helmet honestly it looks better without the helmet. But even without the helmet, he just doesn't. I wouldn't say yes to that. No, bro, that's uh, that's what's his face with a dog and horns. <laughs> yeah, I I'm he's a detective. He's got a gun. No, no, not feeling it. Not feeling it at all. Uh, he does have an SR version. That's only his R version. Maybe the SR version saves it. That's better, but <laughs> objection. No, that's uh, still still a no for me. That's uh, that's not gonna do it. Maybe maybe with his his partner. No, that's just <laughs> that's still still that's just him. That's that's basically a th- yeah. Go for it, Barawa, Barawa Detective Agents. No, that's, that's not having it. His side his sidekick's not helping. She reminds me a lot of Zeta, like just overall appearance. Like she doesn't have the same weapon, but like the hair is just slightly different. So maybe they're part of the same like lore, like they're part of the same like unit in game. Her and Zeta are from the same group. That explains it entirely. Yeah, I get that vibe. I think that would actually be an okay addition to have. She got the giant dark sword, the sword that practically looks like it turns into a spear with how large it is. Uh, it's a saber. It's very clear it's a saber. Yeah, that would be fun. I like the idea of having some overlapped themes for characters. So I think that 
Zeta being as good as she is, that kind of it kind of makes sense for Beatrix here. So of course she has a summer outfit. Why would she have a summer outfit? So yeah, no, that, that gets a yes. That's fine. Benjamin. It's another like no, again, this this isn't working. The whole bar I've gotten ball only is one by default. This like rose like bard aesthetic. No, this still isn't doing it for me. Still, still, still not doing it. Sorry, Benjamin. Sorry, Benjamin. It's not happening, pal. Uh, okay. G generic Dark Knight. He's got a saber and a gun, which does. Okay, wait, hold on. I think he. I mean, actually, yeah, he looks pretty good. No, you know what? He's we got is Gabranth. Yeah, let's get Gabranth in here with a gun. Yeah, Gabranth with a gun. Well, I mean, he's too. He's a pretty boy here, but like, here we go. Yeah, Gabranth with a gun. Let's take it. The alter ego of Iodos. All right. I think I might take that. Let me go back to Iodos real quick. Iodos, Iodos, Iodos. Let me see. If he's the alter ego of this guy, then definitely, definitely be the other guy. If I have to pick, but yeah, be the be be Black Knight instead. That's it. Black Knight way cooler. All right. Blazing teacher Elmot. Oh, I like the weapon. He's a little crazy. All right. He's he's a little crazy here. A little bit. Um, yeah, so he looks like a fire mage. Again, they use that lantern on the staff aesthetic again, although he's got a cooler looking staff. Is Black Knight a girl? Wait, then what the heck? Now I'm even more confused. How can they be the altar? Oh, I guess that still that still makes sense technically. Seven luminary knights. That's right. It does say over here on the right, female. All the same, the aesthetic is Gabranth with a gun. I just couldn't tell from any of the images alone. Still, she badass. Let her in. Oh, also Eugen's daughter. Okay. Well, then what was... Oh, are you sure? Alter... I don't know. That's what Chad said. Chad said alter ego. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, Elmet's cool. I like... Oh, my God. They have bo 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 I mean, I at least I know who that is without needing to click on it. What did they do with... with... <laughs> Oh, I've, I've never seen that. I've never even seen it. I just know how ridiculous it is. Freaking bo 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 bo. Yeah, oh my god. And then we have Bowman. No, this dude's lame. So generic. Absolutely not. Bridget. Uh, no, I mean, looks like probably from the same knights as as she's a diligent knight. Might be from the same kind of order as Charlotta. I get the same vibe. So no, it's, it's too much overlapping with Charlotta. Uh, Cagliostro. Um, okay. This is pretty cool. She's got twin dragons. She's a scholar. Wow. Okay. She's a scholar. That's pretty cool. I like this. Of the scholars I've seen, this is, this is the better of them so far. Um, she's in relink. Okay, good. That's good. Cause I would have said yes to this. She is in the game. Perfect. Great. Good choice. I approve of the choice. That works for me. Uh, let's do the... SR for Kaliana. Uh she's got like a like an oh she's a surfer. All right, that makes more sense. Uh, I mean, that's I don't know. I don't think for relink, I wouldn't want this character. I'm not crazy about this character to begin with. So she's a naturalist, she's a melee character, so she attacks with the surfboard, I'd have to assume. Well, I wonder what the the regular Kailana. It's not Kaliana, it's Kailana. Yeah, I mean, that's fine, but I'm I'm not crazy about it. So that's uh, that's gonna be a no from me. Uh, Kaim, he's got to have way cooler art than that. Yep, <laughs> he transforms. I see. He's uh, he's got uh, two sides to this coin. It would appear. Other art, God. I mean, these two are so like generic. This is. Generic, edgy, and look at the count the belts. Just go ahead. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> uh, but um, he does have the evoker bit to him. And uh, I do like the way that this, again, but the dragons again? I wonder if it's just because evokers can just do all that stuff. Because those look like the exact same dragons I just saw on the scholar before this. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. Um, after just seeing the dragons and I like the other evoker better, the other evokers better that we've seen. I don't know. Something about him just rings generic for me, like in both of these forms, especially this one's, this one cracks me up. This one cracks me up so much. <laughs> yeah. I'm not, I'm not crazy about Kaim. And then there's Kain or Kane more likely. 
Uh, Pretty Boy Samurai. All right. Got this here. Like, he's got these two different... I like how similar those arts are. Keeps the art style. Chapter 89, Teachings of the Sage. This is... This is okay. This is okay. Like, if this character was in... He has a gun, I also noticed. He's got a katana. That's good on me. That's, that's good for me. I mean. Uh, story character. All right. That's fine. Main story character. All right. Yeah, that's fine. I wouldn't be upset. I'm not crazy about it, like, just design-wise. But, you know, what does the Grand Cane look like? That's a little bit cooler. Yeah. I think I think the little bit of additions to the outfit go a long way with that one. Um, so, yeah, that's yeah, that's fine. That's cool. I like it. Cameo. Premium draw. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> <laughs> that boy, I was like, ah, yeah, okay, that's fine. What do they look? Oh, all right. Well, that <laughs> now that was that was a wild juxtaposition on that one. Uh, she got guns. Oh, she blasting all right. <laughs> she's a mass. She's dreams of becoming a master smith one day. <laughs> yeah. Um. Sure. Just because I that honestly the juxtaposition, if that 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 threw me, it just threw me super hard. So, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll go ahead and say yes, because uh, that was that was a shocker. She has a summer outfit. Really? All right. Jesus Christ. Cantante, another bar. Oh, that's see, I don't know that that's like the stylized art. I'm not like like the base design without it. I'm not like crazy. She looks like she's like half fading out of existence. Like her other leg is just like beginning to fade out. Like the entire left side of her body looks like it's fading out of existence. So it's got to be something to do with their skills. Uh, she, yeah, I think a lot of the, this is just, this is cool art, but I'm not actually crazy about the design. So I'm going to, I'm going to say no, cause I'm not crazy about that design. That's all. Uh, just, might as well be a dancer. That's not a dagger, by the way, game. We don't, yeah, I mean, this weapon type isn't on anyone else. And maybe I'll see somebody else who I like with the weapon type better. Because I do like, what, I don't know the exact name of, of the weapon. Because obviously they're calling it a dagger here. But the, like, full ring blade, I guess it's probably called a ring blade. That, like, it's, it's like the full body ring blade. Yeah. Kind of, yeah, like the, like the Soul Calibur. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. So, yeah, well, no, not even a Chakram. Like, I guess maybe you would call, still call it, because I, when I imagine Chakram, I imagine the small ones, not the giant body sized Chakrams. But yeah, maybe it still falls in the same thing. Yeah, I haven't seen another character like that so far. So, yeah, she's, she's a yes. It's a big Chakram. Another bard. I don't know why all the bard designs just ring is just a different type of generic outside of Ball, which was not like, Still wasn't even that crazy. Yeah, for her, still getting kind of generic vibes. So not not too wild about that. Um, event. Maybe the event SSR looks cooler. Oh, this is Cassius. This is a different character altogether. Which I guess is fine, but... And again, kind of like generic pretty boy. You know, got a spear. Not Not crazy about it again. Uh, I don't even know. I like how there's, there's just, just skips. It's just event SSR, event Valentine. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm not, not crazy about that one. Uh, Catherine, is that a tiny pistol? Yeah, she's a phantom thief. And she has our scene as a weapon. Of course she does, right? Of, of, of course, of course, of course she does. Um, I'm not crazy about it. Overall, for real, <laughs> you're right. That would have been the correct reaction. So yeah, no, I'm not. I'm not too crazy about that. <laughs> I just why did, you really made a sprite for the bathtub? <laughs> yeah, that's fine. I'm not crazy about that one. No, that one. That one doesn't automatically win for me. Uh, Katura spear and melee. This is oh, this is the year of the year of the cow. Okay. She's another one of the Zodiac characters. What the heck is that? <laughs> she, is that a tire? Yeah, she attacked with a tire. All right. Yeah, this is a strange one. I'm not, I'm not crazy about, about this one. So, uh, 
She wants to marry the MC. <laughs> well, uh, hope he likes milk, I guess. Uh, I'm no, I'm not crazy about this one. I mean, the, the motorcycle is kind of cool, but I don't know. Just the overall design outside of the motorcycle. I'm not not feeling it. <laughs> you know, I shouldn't be surprised when I see a trumpet as a weapon, but, you know, it, it is what it is. Um, yeah, she's another live event exclusive. Uh, I really do like the actual design of the outfit itself, though. That's 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 pretty nice. I actually do like that. Um, but I can't imagine playing as a trumpet character. I'm sorry. I can't do it. I can't I can't be super into that or not. Uh, not that not the literal like tiny trumpet level thing. I can't really. This is a mascot character. So. It's fun. I just see a generic mascot. So it's like, no, nah, I don't know. It's super uninteresting to me. So I'm not. That's definitely a no. Cerberus. Really? The two heads are puppets? On your, are you a monk? Oh no, they're just like rings. It looks like okay, yeah. She was just, she just had them on her hand. No, they are hand puppets essentially, but they're set. They're oh yeah, they're and then this okay. It's it's weird because I can't really get a tell on the type of character if she's actually a monk or not. Like she does, yeah. Her weapon is Coco and Mimi, and that's 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 the name of of the thing. She's a monk. The answer is yes. So, and I think she is a monk. So the answer is yes. Unite and fight. Is this a event character? Or I mean, is this a yeah? How to recruit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This I think is one. Yeah, Villa de Sinero, Come one, come all. Uh, unite and fight are the recruit methods. Oh, was that a collab character? Okay, then she's out. Unless you mean this is a collab character. I don't know. If Cer if Cerberus is. Cerberus? Cerberus just says she's part of the classic draw. Oh, she just might have been into it. She's in another game still. Okay, yeah. Cerberus. Oh, she's the second Rage of Bahamut character. Okay. This is a promotion character, it says. Uh, R-O-B. What the heck is this? R.O.B. Virgin Soul Blu-ray Disc 4 Serial Code. It's another Rage of Bahamut character. Oh, R.O.B. Rage of Bahamut. Yeah. I don't know if I even want to include the Rage of Bahamut characters. I also wouldn't pick him anyway. I don't think he looks that cool. So, Charlotta. Very familiar with this character. <laughs> uh, she is in, and uh, she is an absolute monster. So, yeah. Not much to say about that. Chat Noir. A magician? Yeah, I mean, actually, I think a magician. It should, he's he's a phantom thief like that other character was, but I like the more gambit. He's, it's, it's like a campier gambit. He's got that he's got that blue mage look right here. Um, if I were to just look at that appearance style, yeah, I think that could be a really interesting addition if I was thinking of, like, characters to play as. Uh, maybe it, whether or not that speaks to the character, I don't know, but yeah, that's that's a yes. That's a yes for me. Uh, shocking star princess. No, just no. <laughs> easy, easy option. Christina. <laughs> what is she? She looks like a corporal practically. I mean, she, I mean, that's literally what she is. She's dressed as like a, like a, a either a pirate or a corporal. She's got a whip. She's got a gun. She's got a dagger. She's the empress of gamblers. Ah, she's a casino runner. Okay. That's something I probably wanted to know. This is her kingdom. Okay. Jewel Resort Casino. I think that, again, I feel like right after saying yes to the other one, like, I, I think of the more deception style stuff, and I think the character right before, like, she looks cool, but I think I already said yeah to Chat Noir, so. Chun-Li. Hmm. I wonder if this is a collaboration character. Hmm. I wonder... <laughs> Yeah, let's get Chun Li in there. Might as well, right? Let's do that. That's awesome. All right, Sadala. Okay, looks like another ev evoker style. Again, the double unit is is kind of cool. I like the tiger. The tiger itself is pretty cool. This is the a Zodiac character, by the way. It's the year the year the tiger. Um, it does say that on the right. So, uh, I like actually. It's weird because I think while the characters themselves aren't like the most interesting. It's one of the less jarring designs 
of all, like this is like the other characters you kind of immediately associate with the Zodiacs that you see them in because it like, like this, this screams it. Like there's tiger, like they have tiger tails. They have tiger like footies. They've got like, it's all there, but this almost looks like something that just, I would expect it in the game, regardless of it being related to the year of the tiger or the Zodiac. Um, so that kind of, that kind of just, that kind of wins it a little bit. Now this is a collaboration, but I don't know what that is because, oh, they're Sanrio characters. All right. Yeah. I don't keep up with Sanrio. All right. Hello, Clarice. No, I mean, just kind of generic, not bad, but I feel like I've said yes to other characters with similar vibes and, uh, I'm just going to say no. I already, I could already say the answer is probably going to be yes. Yeah. I could tell she was a, she was a, she was a monk. Once, once you're a monk, that's it. That's it. Like you win. It's just, it's not, I will always say yes to monks. I don't even think she's particularly interesting, but she is a monk. She's a maid monk. So yes. All right. That's an iron giant. And I mean like a Final Fantasy. I mean, no, he's called the Iron Giant. Listen, I know the Grand Blue devs were Final Fantasy devs, but like the, the, it was uncanny. <laughs> uh, the answer is yes, because I do think he actually looks pretty cool. I like the idea of actually playing as an Iron Giant. And oh my God, he's enormous. That's IO on his shoulder and Catalina and Gray. They're all here. He's, oh yeah, that... I don't know how you make that work, but sure. Yeah, that's that, that's a whole that's a whole other thing. All right. Uh collaboration. That's Detective Call. I literally didn't even read who it was. I clicked the name without reading it and went from the top left of the screen to the bottom right in terms of like and it's always like, oh, T, so he's a tie-in character. Conan, little to it's Conan the Detect. <laughs> Let him grow up. Give him his old body back. Uh, Cordelia, too generic. So that's going to be a, a nay. Cosmos, kind of cool, but I'm not crazy about it. So that's, a, that's a little bit. I do like the gun saber combination. I'm not crazy about it though. I feel like I've seen some other stuff like it so far. Um, this too. I do like the double gun. I, I, I'm, I am a sucker for dual guns, but I already said yes to the, uh, to the, the small dual gun. I mean, either, either, or this is like, I wouldn't want more than one of them, but I don't mind having one of them. So like, it's more, yeah, it's less of a, a no to this character and more like a, just give us one of the characters that's like this because I, I just don't want a lot of characters that have like super overlapped. I guess here's the big thing though. This is just based on their aesthetic. Their skill sets are likely to give them drastically different aesthetics. But again, I'm only doing this based on a quick look. And that, you know, that worked. That wasn't even her SSR unit, mind you. Doesn't change much of anything. But yeah, I would I would just say I would just want one of them, really, I suppose. Kupitan, if you will. Uh I mean it's got the bow. Uh, she's got like it's like fireworks, it's like paint fireworks levels, a clad of rainbows in the sky. The rainbow liar weapon. I'm not crazy about it. Uh, of course, she has a summer outfit. Why wouldn't she? Collaboration. All right, we're going to move past that. Got Data, who is, oh, she got a mace. Oh, she has like a swinging ball. And oh, yeah, that's a yeah. Oh, yeah, Data. Data. Data's there. There we go. That's good. I saw Dante, and I first thing I checked was whether or not it was going to be a collaboration. <laughs> um, eh, I'm not crazy about it. So that's, uh, that's it. I mean, he's got a, he's got like, it, it says it's a staff. That's a halberd. All right. He may use it as a staff. It's a halberd. He does have a lot of cats though. And I do relate. I do. I do relate quite well. Uh, and that is, oh, he also has, so this is cat freight. <laughs> That makes it it's a little more compelling, I'll admit. That's 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 mildly, mildly, mildly more compelling. <laughs> yeah, that's uh that's technically it's funny because it says Neko Punch Pro is his recruitment weapon, which should put him in the monk category. No, I'm still I'm still not super crazy about it. 
as a whole. I don't even dislike it that much, but I think of like what I would be interested in playing and I, I probably wouldn't be super drawn. Puppet Master, probably in. She's like, oh, she's like that kind of Puppet Master, huh? She's like, yeah. No, you know what? That's no, that's still, that's a yeah. I still think that could be kind of cool. So that works. All right. Uh, what's the what's the SSR look like? Of course it didn't load. Why would it load? I mean, the SSR doesn't really change much of anything in that case. De La Phil. All right. Princess of the Seven Gems. Suddenly getting uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! GX flashbacks to the fucking gem dragon. I don't know why. Just out of nowhere. Uh, I mean, I'm not crazy about it at a glance. Like, it could probably be pretty cool. Um, but I don't know. I'm not... I'm not crazy about it. Yeah, so that's gonna that's gonna be a no. Of course, she has a summer outfit though, so there's always that. Uh, Dale Dale Ford or Dela Ford, oh, ultra generic. Let me maybe check his higher rank one because that's just an R. Yeah, all the R units are all pretty generic. See, that that is way better, but I still wouldn't say yes because there's just so many other aesthetics that are similar. That's like a wouldn't say no, but not like jumping at the bit to say yes. Maybe the SSR does the trick. The SSR goes a long way. Yeah, I mean, if it was this one. I, I'm still, again, I'm not going to say yes, but that's definitely like, that's that's the convincing one. Like if I was a fan, an immediate fan, that would be more yes. I'm going to say no to this instantly. If it, the idea of playing five characters as one is just a no, and it's like an idol group essentially. So I'm just going to, yeah, I'm going to say no. Yeah, in the case of an SSR being available versus a regular one, I definitely got to go with that because he was way cooler at, in the SSR. That is a tie-in character from... Oh, it's Doramon. Yeah, okay. I, again, I didn't even read the name. I just clicked it and then had to double back and realize what it was. Um, SR, it's another maid aesthetic kind of thing going on here. So I'm going to I'm gonna go ahead and nay that. Oh, Dorothy and Claudia. Oh, she teams up with... See, I said no because I said yes. If you made them one unit, maybe. But if I had to pick one, it would be Claudia. So going to go with that. Let's go with Grand, actually, for this one, uh, because that's supposed to be them at their peak. He's an alchemist. Uh, get that vibe pretty much immediately. I kind of like his alchemist. He's, he's more traditional. I know I knocked some of the other ones for being kind of generic, and he's got kind of a ge general, like, a generic look to it, but I don't know. I kind of I kind of just like the design a little bit better. Uh, so that's, uh, that's a yes for me. I'd be interested to see that. Drusilla. No. That's no, I, you're not going to get me excited to play that. What the? Oh, he's an eternal. I don't like him as much as the other eternal. Hilariously enough. He's so here's the thing. I should because he's got like he's got a very particular vibe that is somewhat familiar to me. Uh, but. I don't know. I'm not I'm not as as into this design as I was the other one. Yeah. It's, he's got, yeah, I was going to say, I noticed that he's controlling a sword with his hair here. That really makes me not want him in, to be fair. But more so, yeah, I was thinking more Gilgamesh vibes immediately. I'm not crazy, though, about it. Like, this is a character I'd have to see in action. Whereas the other one, the other Eternal we ran into, I liked, I don't know, I liked their design a little bit better. This this one just you're only, I only he's only important because you're telling me he's important. Like he doesn't really look all that. He just looks kind of imposing. It'd be kind of cool, but I'm not crazy about it. So he's he's like in the middle somewhere. There you go. Ijeli. I like the mask. The mask is cool. Oh, the mask is gone. There you go. Uh aquarium harp. Oh, it's a microphone. I just noticed that. Um I mean, honestly, as I guess as a buffer, a debuffer, the idea of a of, of an actual singer, it's a harp weapon, technically. It's a microphone and it's a harp here. Look, it turns, it's like forms into a harp there at the end. It's not really a harp here, but here you can see the kind of harp classification a little bit better. Um, and then here is just, thing looks menacing. Um, I, I like this one. This, this one I like. It'd be a nice, yeah, a nice song stress. Uh, Alea... No, not. No, just not. I wouldn't be compelled. I'm not compelled by that. Not compelled. It's like sleek and cool, but like, I don't know. Design's a little, it's not, it's not enough for me. 
Uh, this character kind of reminds me of some of the other. Oh, this is a this is a tie-in character. I don't know who this tie-in is at all. It's Tale of Skyborn Bonds. Oh, that's good because I wouldn't have said yes anyway. Uh, then we have Elmil. El oh. <laughs> She's a chef. I like I like the weapon. <laughs> I like the weapon because of its comparison size. Why? I, I think that's one thing I actually like about the Harvins. All of the weapons are are well, not all of them, but most of them are stupid big comparatively. Ah, it's Tales of Zillia for that last one. Okay. So, uh, no, yeah, that's that's funny. I, I, think, I think there's too many Harvins I've said yes to, so I'm actually going to say no kind of, you know, just on base. So here's Elmet from earlier again, by the way, um, because earlier was a different version of his, his skins. And I think I said yes to him anyway back then. Even though his designs were a little more basic, I think I had already said yes. So that kind of works out here. So yeah, Elmet, Elmet, I'm pretty sure I said yes to before. And so they're going to, that it's going to be a yes. Uh, we have another uh, minstrel here. See, I kind of like this minstrel design a little bit. It's a little bit more, uh, what's the word for it? It's a little bit more sh show, not, 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 not flamboyant. It's more like, um, it's a little bit more showmanship. I suppose, to this outfit and to the actual weapon choice here. He's also, I mean, he's essentially got, he, it says Songsmith's Harp, which I don't know how you could, I, that's got to be a localization thing. He, uh, I like, I like, I like that one. Yeah, I like him. In terms of a lot of the, the more bard or harp or whatever music characters, he's, he's higher up on the list. I, li I like him. Enyo, Beast of Destruction and Trampling. I'm not, I, I mean, I, I, it does have the wolf and I think the wolf is the one thing that sells it because without the wolf, the answer would be a no. <clears throat> so the Destructive Primal Beast, I'd assume she is the wolf, not so much that the wolf is with her given the description. So that's, yeah, that's kind of cool. I like that. That one's, that one's going to be, that one's going to be a yeah. Yeah, Erica. Is this one that has? Is there a better design? No, that is the SSR. No. See, so yeah, it's this. This like uh, she's got like a cop, like a like a little bit of a cop outfit going on here. It's just uh, the big gun. I do like the the gun, but no, I'm not not crazy about that. Uh, Aaron. She's just looking at me with them gloomy eyes. A crystal maiden. She's a healer. That's interesting as a, as a thing. It's yeah, that's okay. But I'm not, again, I'm not crazy about it either. Oh, uh, let me see the SSR. Maybe the SSR. Nah, no. In fact, that didn't help at all. That's like, I don't even think it, I don't think it made it worse almost. <laughs> he's got to have a better art. There's no way he's got to be. I mean, I know he's a rare unit. Okay. He does. Yeah. That's much better. That's much, much better. That's that's much, much better. Yeah, that's that's way cooler. I like that. That's that's a yes. All right, so we have another the Hermit of Serenity. He's an evoker. See, I kind of just like the evoke. Weird. I don't like the other art. I like this art. I don't like this art like at all. It's a little extra. Arcanum, the world beyond. I don't know. I'm again. I'm not. I'm not crazy about about this. I I I think because of the eternal I saw earlier, they're very similar in their overall appearance, especially like the long robe, like floating down and whatnot. Like yeah, he's got the he's got the 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 beard. You know, he's got the 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 Confucius thing going on there. But uh, yeah, I'm not crazy about that one. Eugen, uh, chapter ten, a chance. So he's part of the story, is what I would get from that. And yeah, he's kind of generic. I mean, these, these buff, look at them freaking quads. Dude. I understand that this makes it poke out more. Grand, a Eugen is, is, oh wait, who's in the game? The last one's in? Great, a Eugen is in the game? I'm not crazy about him. If he's already in, then that's fine. Maybe the SSR will sell it. Now see, okay, now you got me. This is an SR versus SSR. Okay, now you got me. That's, that's, yeah, that, that'll do it. That'll do it. I, I see now. That's a thumbs up.
they got it. That this design, not wild about it at all. This original SR, no, that didn't work. But the SSR, the grand design, yeah, that does it. That does the trick. Uh, this is Fair Maiden of Mercury. Not crazy about it. No, it's not not crazy about it. Eustace. See, like that's, this is more like, how do I put it? The other, so, so Eugen's SSR version was cool. This is like edgy. This is edgy, edgy gun user. Also part of the Society for Zeta. It's okay, but I think I'm kind of burnt after just, I've just like been so many gun characters back to back. He is in the fighting game. He doesn't look bad, but I look at like the other gun characters so far. I'm like, really? Do I, would I really want another one? Do I want him more than the other ones? So I'm not personally crazy about him. Just me personally. No. Uh, listen, I deal enough with a fat cat. I'm not doing that. Look at his dark mode. Okay. I think I don't think it looks any better. It's just a different outfit. What does the grand version of the cat look like? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> the cat is a dragon. I still say no, but that cat is a dragon. <laughs> Oh, man, that's funny. That's funny. That's a good juxtaposition. I like that. I'm still saying no, though. As a crane. Oh, I like that. I like the chain weapon. Oh, it's chain knuckles. They're in. That's it. They're in. F Hello, Farah. All right, that's wait. Hold on. Event SR summer far and jerk. Maybe this one's a little better. I mean, it is, but I'm not crazy about either of those characters. Yeah, as soon as I see R, I'm like, yeah. That didn't help at all. That didn't make it any better. That's an event version. There's just the regular SR version. Yeah, that's that's not, that, no, not interested. Another R unit, Feather. God, Ezreal? Ezreal with a, a coat that has glowy eyes, I can't help but notice. Uh, SSR, you know, obviously we go that. Yeah. That's that's better. See, I I I got big Ezreal vibes from him like immediately, but it's not even that. He just he's another he punches again. He's a martial artist. So, he's in. That's it. He's in. As soon as that's as soon as they punch, that's it. They're in. Another draft. All right, this draft ain't messing around. Got it. Saber melee. That's a that's a very very big dragon. That would be frightening. Oh, one of the dragons. She's, so you're the same as the cat. Well, you're you're one of the six that's similar to the cat. Yeah, <laughs> the cat was the emerald dragon. You're the black dragon. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I like that one. I like that character. Fina, goblin crusher. Goblins? I do kind of like the one-handed bow. That's just kind of, it's, it's kind of nutty. I like the weapon a lot more than I like the rest of the character, but that's going to get a, it's going to get a yeah from me. I like the weapon. I like the weapon a lot. Weapon sold me. I wasn't sold before that. Another one of the Eternals, huh? I don't know. It's crazy to me that only the first Eternal has actually been interesting. These weapons look, these, these look ridiculous. These, these like big triangles right here. They're like both short, stout, and, hu and huge at the same time. <laughs> I can tell that he's fast. I mean, they're daggers. They're not even swords. They're daggers. I'm not, I'm not crazy about it. How do the daggers look in sprite mode? They look ridiculous in sprite mode is how they look. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, fairy. I, I, why do I feel like fairy is one I've seen people mention a lot? Is she in? 
They're like pizza slices. She's in the game. That's why. Okay. I heard people mention fairy. Um, I'm not, I mean, I like, I like the, the kind of chain whip that's going on here. The soul edge. Oh my God. Um, but I otherwise wouldn't have been too crazy about it. Um, I see the different creatures in the back as well. So I can tell that's going to be a big part of her shtick. She's a popular staple. I'm not crazy about the design right from the get go. So that's a character I'll have to get to know. Oh, maybe the SSR. We've already been over this. When there's an SSR unit, it's always better to look at that. Yeah, that's yeah. It's the curse of the of the SR art. It's the it's the curse of old art. And then this is her great. Yeah, I mean, I could see. I see it more now. Definitely, definitely the case of of seeing the old art versus the new art. Okay, yeah, that that checks out. That checks out. Makes a bit of a sense. Makes a bit more sense. I get it now. That makes okay. I like it. She's in already, so it's not like I have a choice. But you know. Fifth, one of the Eternals. Weird, another Eternal that I kind of like, and it's another one of the Harvins. <laughs> Why do I like the Harvin Eternals so much more? I don't know what it is. I mean, also just this. This this looks way... The other, like, five-star and other arts were so, like, generic, like, oh, we're just a bunch of slashes and there's, like, a black hole in the back or something. Whereas these look a lot more fun and frantic. I do like this one. Yeah, we're looking at the GBF roster. What's going on, Gaia? All right. Feline. Uh, White Frost Dragon Maiden. Not crazy about it. No, that doesn't. I'm not too excited. Fiorito. Is that like Doritos? Monk? Monk? No. Oh, Barbell? Monk. They're in. Yeah, that's a yes. I already kind of like the, the simpler design. It's like... It's very kind of a minimalistic martial arts, more like a more like a street brawler than anything else. That makes sense with a, like a barbell as the recruitment weapon. Yeah, that checks out. So I like that. I like that muscle head. Yeah, I got that. I got that muscle head vibes. I like that. Uh, we've got another bow user. This okay. So this is our unit. Hold on. Doesn't have. Okay, if they don't care about him enough, I don't care about him enough. Simple. Florence. Uh... Got another like kind of like high end society maids. Yeah, no, not crazy about that one. Uh, Forte or Fort. I do like. Okay, see, I kind of I, I I like that. I like that one. That one's good. Imagine, oh dude, imagine fighting on the back of a dragon. Yeah, I uh, I like this one. This one, this one's a win. I like the dual spears, the different colors on them, the dragon back part. That's yeah, that's good. Uh, brilliant strength. Interesting. Oh, you're a monk. Okay, now you're in. You're in. I see you punching. I see you punch. I see you kicking specific. No, yeah, you're in. Yeah, no, you're in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's easy. Freezy. Is it both of them? Sundeer Prime Minister. No. No, not doing that. That's going to be a no from me. Gonna be a no for me, boys. Uh, Frere. See, you know what's weird? He has a generic vibe, but I still just kind of really like the design. I like the boar here, too. Sword of Sorrow and Wrath. He's a primal beast. Okay. Yeah, so, okay. No, I like that. I don't know why. I kind of just like that, that, that vibe and that design. Um, I can't help but notice that Friday is a summer only character. <laughs> can't help but notice that. That they don't have anything but a summer outfit. Is there a particular? It's a bit complicated. Can we uncomplicate it for me real quick? Friday has another version. So they're another character. Oh, that's not even that bad of a summer outfit. Ultimate Fry. Oh, they're called Ultimate Fry. Okay, when I get there on the list, that's not even that bad of a summer outfit. That wasn't. There are other characters who I can tell would have had very, very different summer characters. No, no, no. We're going to scroll through the list. We'll get to Ultimate Friday. I don't want to skip it. Uh, Gabrielle or Gabriel, I'd assume. Gabriel, because it's spelled that, not like Gabrielle, but all the same. Uh, Primark of Water. I mean, it's a really cool, very 
you know, it's a very, you know, anime style. It's like a lot of common things you would see in like a, like a, a high powered anime character. Um, that it's fine, but I'm not, I'm not crazy about it. It, it, it doesn't, I, I'm not like jumping out like, Oh my God, that's so cool. But it, it is, it is cool. I'm just, it's not like, ah, ah, you know, gotcha pen. Okay. That's a, that's a character. Galadar. Okay. Let's just go straight to the SR on Galadar. See now that the dwarven. So we've skipped by a few big shield users. No, nah, we're, st we're sticking with this one. We're, st we're sticking with my mans here. He, that man, I, that draft is a dwarf. That, that dwarf is a draft. Yeah, he's another blacksmith. We, I already said yes to another blacksmith earlier, but that shield, oh man, that, that's a shield. That's a shield right there. So yes, that's, I'm, I'm down for that one. Uh, this is gold of the six dragons. I kind of like her design. It's a little, it's, I mean, she's, she's one of those, my eyes are always closed. Maybe she's blind. I'm not sure. Uh, this is a really terrible angle of the dragon. Like if I wanted to use the dragon to judge any of it, uh, I, it wouldn't be that this I'm, I'm not like there's, there's bits about this. I like some, I don't like, I kind of like, I kind of like the ring in the back, but I don't think I'd be excited to play as that character. You know, that wasn't a great angle of the draw. Okay. Hold on. No, no, no. The arc. Okay. My rule is if they don't care enough to put them above R, I don't care. Bottom line, his design. I took one, one look at it for a second. It wasn't anything crazy. Anyway, Gawain. I like him better without the mask. I think the mask looks stupid. It's just like trying to be cool kind of mask. Yeah, that's I like that better. This one's a little more generic, but it's weird. Yeah, the only problem with this is I find that that's a little too generic. This is a little less, only a little less generic. But I'm not crazy about I I I just think the light one does look better, but I also think the wind one looks better without the mask. So, you know, that is what it is. SR gain um, I like the dancer aesthetic. I think this is a more direct dancer aesthetic more than one of the other ones I said yes to. So I would probably take the other one and, and replace them with that. If I was going for someone who's dancer esque thus far, uh, Geisenborger. Oh, now I'm hungry. I want a burger. Uh, he is a melee. He's a melee evoker. I kind of like that. This is, that's a really weird summon. <laughs> yeah. I, I think he's a yes. Cause he punch. His, his, the thing he's evoking looks, the guy he's evoking is weird. He's also maniacal in this one. He's a raging chair. This design is awful. All the other ones are way better. Even the similar outfit. Um, yeah, he's, he punches though. Yeah, he's, he's a, yeah, he's a, yeah. Gemini, so oh, Soccer Wars collaboration. Okay, Gonda Goza, we already know. I, Gonda Goza, I ranked pretty low in the demo because I think he needs talents but he's so satisfying to land big hits on. And I would have said, even just looking at his design here, I would have said, like that image alone, I probably would have said yes to. But I actually much prefer, his actual sprite in Relink, I think is his best sprite out of all of these. His character art, I should say, he's a summer outfit. Goblin Mage. Goblin? No. Not interested. Generic. Okay, Golden Knight. This was the other version of the character that we were told about earlier. Yeah, yeah, Aaliyah. Okay, see, that's that's way better. Yeah, because Aaliyah, I said I was I was kind of like eh, too a little bit, but this this is this is a lot, and it's got that same judge aesthetic. The one I said I said yes to Black Knight earlier for the same. It's got like a Final Fantasy twelve judge aesthetic. This is a different judge, but still the same judge aesthetic. So. I, uh, yeah, no, she's, that, that's cool. I like her. Yeah. Uh, Gria, I see she's, uh, oh, she's, no, she is a male. She plays the piano, but I noticed that her fists seem to be, oh, she has one fist, like a demon fist. That's, uh, kind of the thing. Not a big fan of, I mean, it's not even schoolgirl. It's more like, you know, music club aesthetic, which I'm not, I'm not, I'm not really crazy about, which is unfortunate because I actually think her, 
weapon design and some of the other parts of her are actually pretty cool, but I'm not a big fan of that. <clears throat> Let's see what uh, maybe one of the other ones looks like. If that, that leans even more into being in music club. Maybe you're the light ver well, and then there she got a whole you got a whole other thing going on there. That's that's orchestra version as far as I'm concerned. Uh Grim Near. The Mad Cyclone. Not not crazy about this. Again, this kind of just fits in the I feel like I've already seen a bunch of characters like this. He might be a boss, but like I look at him and I'm not I'm not wild about it. You know, just on just on look alone. Yeah, he's a little he's a little bit edgy, a little bit a little bit uh cocky. This might be one of those plays better than I again, just based on one appearance. I, I I'm not like I'm just not crazy about it. That's like a, I'm not get, trying to get to know you. I just want to know who you are kind of deal. Um, the design, I think, is a little bit better than some, but it's still not crazy about it. Um, Hacelia and Halicena are next. All right. You are another Harvin. You're another Evoker. I actually really like her summon on the Evoker. This guy right here. Um, her actual design, I don't really care for much i don't i don't really hate it but yeah it's got like the moon symbology here and i i like i, I like the, i like that it's santa claus except his reindeer is bunnies <laughs> literally <laughs> it's it's santa claus but look he's got the ring and he's got the chains and he's and there's bunnies <laughs> oh man uh yeah i'm not that's like a 50 50 one. That is a chainsaw. That is a chainsaw axe. Uh, yes. <laughs> the answer is yes. Uh, this looks like it's an only dual unit Hal uh, Haliul and Maliul. They are the Archangel Parcel Service. <laughs> well, they're, they're delivering something. I don't know if it's parcels, but. Uh, yeah, no, that's, that's not going to do it for me. Of course they have summer outfits though. Why wouldn't they have summer outfits? Uh, how Maru that's what's his name? This is the same. What's his, I mean, yeah, it's a crossover character, but his name is how, what's the, what's the game? He's samurai showdown. That's what it is. That's the name. I was looking for the name of the game because it didn't say the collaboration. It just it, it said it was a collaboration, but it didn't really say exactly what the game was. It just said the name of the collaborative event. Uh, Hazen. See, that's I like that. I like. Oh, my God. <laughs> Staff and melee. Looks like he's ready to punch. You know what I say about punch? Is he a Fire Emblem character? Is he? Doesn't say anything about that over here. Makes it just seem like he's a dude. He's a priest with the power of fist. Oh, he looks like one. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Oh, uh, no. Priest priest with the power of fist. No, he's good. We're good with that. Uh, Hikate, I can see why she might be a fan favorite. But otherwise, her. I actually, I actually do, again, that same dress design somebody else had. Um, I like the torch as a weapon, too. But I feel like she's not here to fight. So <laughs> she's here for something else. A little too generic, I feel, yeah. Uh, she's one of those mouth guard characters, huh? Yeah, I'm not crazy about that. <laughs> Halel Ben Shalem is God. <laughs> Spear and staff user. Yeah, still not, not too crazy about that. Hellas. Again, I feel like I just, I prefer Zeta. Zeta kind of like is like the ideal, like the standard for the character with that aesthetic for me. Like it just, it, for me, that just, that just works better than some of the more embellished ones here. I don't know. It just does. <laughs> Helnar, only an SR unit, but it looks like he's an invent. It looks like he invents like mechanical birds. That's actually pretty cool. I do like that. He's got like the swords with. I, 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 it's going to be a yeah 
for me. He's a little generic, but I, I, that's going to be a yes, I think. Huria, the SSR version, cool artwork, but no, too, a little too. You know, it's funny. I get like Gaia vibes from the like core outfit that she has on. But then like with the big, because she's also got like the ultra thin like shoulder here, but then it's just got like the, the Ramza style gauntlets here on the side. But yeah, no, she's whatever. I'm not crazy about it. Collaboration, collaboration. Icarus is next. Uh, it, it, fine design, but generic for me. Um, Ill not. Uh... I like that. I like that art. Oh, she like spray. She has a spray paint gun. See, I don't like this artwork with like the, the suitcase and everything here, but I do like the kind of jet set radio style graffiti art thing here. That's, you know what? We just got picked a answer for 14. We got that previewed. I'm going to say, yeah, to ill not. I'm going to say it. I like it. It stands out a lot from the rest of the cast. I will say gun and bow. Oh, yeah, those are guns. I couldn't even tell because there's just so much going on here. Uh, no, I'm not not crazy about it. Again, the corporal look. Her holiday outfit is not safe. Or her holiday one is safe. What does that mean? <laughs> it's not about whether or not they're safe. I think I'll be fun. People stream the sex scenes from Baldur's Gate 3 on, on Twitch. I'm not that concerned about it. You know, safe. IO. Oh, what does the grand IO look like? I actually kind of prefer the way that she just looks in, in Relink. I wonder how close that is to this. Yeah, I kind of just prefer her really basic look. That's like one of those where like more is not more. More is less. Uh, Ipatsu. Hmm. I'm not like I'm not too crazy. This, this, this sells it a little bit better. What the heck are you even doing? Like attack wise, like what is his plan here? What of his what is his plan of attack? Like look at look at his arms. What is he even achieving right here? Yeah, I like ramen too, and he's spilling it everywhere. He's turning it into hair. At least that's what it looks like. The noodles are all like, they're not even, they're not even, you got to be able to break them all apart. They're, it's like, it's, it's, I don't want my ramen noodles to look like hair the entire, it's spilled everywhere and I can't, I can't eat it like this. I guess if you were just trying to spill hot ramen on people, that would be fine. Anyway, ramen, he's a yes. Oh, that wasn't even his SSR. He has an SSR. True ramen. I like this less than the other one, to be fair, but at least his love for ramen. This looks like him when he got his own restaurant. But he's still spilling the ramen everywhere, and I hate it. Oh, look, Eroha. I wonder who this character is from. Gee, I wonder. You know what? I hope that she is in Relink. <laughs> Actually, Precious, who I hope is in Relink at some point, but, you know. Uh... No, thank you. Not crazy on the scuba dive, the scuba outfit, the big daddy scuba diving outfit. That's his space. No, that's a, that's a scuba outfit. Uh, Izmir. No. Glacial Guardian. Not too crazy about it. Uh, collaboration, collaboration. JJ. Uh, that's actually kind of cool. I like that. It stands out a lot from the other ones. I think the, the pants are kind of stupid, but that's that's not too much. I like it. I like JJ. It's kind of cool. Uh, Jamil SSR. Uh, he's another. Oh, I thought the. I don't know why I thought those were guns. No, no, too generic for me. Never, never crazy about that. Jasmine. Oh no, she has an SSR. Hold on. Let me let me just go. I'm not I didn't look. I didn't look. I didn't scroll down. That didn't help. No, she's an herbalist. I don't just no, not for me. Grand. Uh no. No. Generic. It's not doing it. 
Uh, Jessica SSR. Bazooka. Bazooka! You know what? First character I've seen with a bazooka like... Actually, is that a bazooka or is that a chain gun? It looks like a bazooka in all the art. Just ch oh, it's changing gunner. Maybe it changes between different guns. But that's a bazooka. So, I like it. Oh, it's our alter ego. You think I like this one better? I can tell that some people definitely like it better. That's no surprise. No surprise at all. Jin. Is, oh, Hien. What's up, dude? No, it's not Hien. Uh, it's got more of that kind of look. Be more like a, a Kyan if I had to guess. Uh, I mean, the design is cool. But, again, I feel like there's some other Katana users that have had a more unique aesthetic. But that's just, uh, it looks like it'd probably be fine. Probably be a fun time. I'm like on the fence about it because he looks cool. Joel at all right. So he's 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 <laughs> I've come up with a few where I wasn't ready for I wasn't ready for that. No, not Joel, not that Joel, not not no, not that jo no, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Also, no, that doesn't look appealing at all to me for for like playing it in something like Relink. That's it. I'm just judging it on who like I think would look who looks like a good character for like a relink edition. That I yeah, that's this one's gonna be a yes for me. This scholar, this scholar immediately is like got a lot of the bits and bobs that you expect, but I think the weapon's really cool. I like the double weapon because he has the book on the stand over in the back over there. Yeah, no, Joe Johan, Johan gets it. Wait, oh Joker. I was thinking to myself like, yeah, no, it's P five. Yeah. <laughs> Just had to make sure. Joy event. Let me just look at the top. I mean, I'm going to say no. That's all right. Uh, Juliet. That was weird. That was a bucket. <laughs> that was an upside down bucket. Uh, eh, that's fine, I guess. But again, not crazy about it. That's how, that's how I say I'm not. It's not a yes. I say I'm not crazy about it. Unfinished hero. Yeah, you're telling me. No. Uh, Idol Master. Premium Gala. Okay. Oh, it's Ari. What's up, Ari? I mean, I guess if you if you want this type of character, this is probably a good one to go with as one of the primal beasts. Um, it's fine. That's fine. Uh, and then who is this? Uh, this is a crossover character. Oh, Code... Wow, I forgot Code Geass was a thing. Um, that's Idol Master. This is also, I think, a collaboration. Yeah, that's uh, Side M Fantasy. Okay. Yeah, we don't need those characters. Street Fighter collaboration. Okay, there we go. Here. Oh, wait, no, no, no. They have an SR. Do we have an SR? Don't even look at the other one. We have an SR. Uh, she's an Arun. No, she's not. She's got, like, uh, uh, she's got a jar of eyeballs. That's always fun. Um, she has a silver fan as a weapon. Yeah, she's uh, she's got like a mix and match of a lot of things. It's a bit, it's a bit much for me. I'm gonna say no. Carva. Uh, let's see. So, so thrill of the pursuit. I mean, she's a treasure hunter with a gun. That's all I got. But much like many of the other, uh, much like many of the other drafts, I think there's uh, two other things that people are maybe excited for in that case. And uh, that's about it. Uh, this is, yeah, that's another collaboration character. Catalina, we already know. Curious what her grand outfit looks like. Again, I kind of just prefer the base outfit. It's weird how the main cast, I actually kind of prefer their less embellished versions. Of course she has a summer outfit though. You know, why wouldn't she have a summer outfit? Uh, Catzelia, Emperor of Convi- Oh, he's another- <laughs> God, these weapons. This weapon looks ridiculous. He's a he's a he's a composer. Yeah, he's an evoker, but he's a composer. Uh, these cats with the trumpets. Oh my goodness. Uh, he's got some trombones, some trumpets. Yeah, no, no, that's gonna be a no for me. Judgment cats. Yeah, that's funny at least. Uh, Kihar. No. Not interested. 
Wait, no, that's a that's a collaboration character. Keolulu or Kolulu, sorry. Um, you know, another spear user, but I actually kind of like this one. The Wandering Girl of Steel. Yeah, I like that. I like that one. I like the aesthetic. I like the I, I like the cloak behind her. So that one, that one's a yeah. That one works for me. Uh Korwa. No. You look like you're utterly useless. So, no. Of course you have a summer outfit. Of course you do. Why am I surprised? Ko. Okay. No, I mean I like I actually really like the umbrella weapon. I actually do like that. Um, what was the game I played last last year? Um, Wild Hearts. That was my favorite. Was one of my favorite weapons aesthetically. And actually, some of this is pretty cool. Yeah, this is this is a yeah. Katana and harp is a combination. You know what? That's a yeah. Co co co. That works out. I think. Krugne. No, not interested. It's got dice. That's pretty cool to be fair. But I don't know. So it's just visually, just aesthetically, not super appealing. Uh, Kambira, this is another Zodiac character. Uh, this is 2019. So that's here. What even is, is that a cat? <laughs> what animal is that? <laughs> oh no, those are, um, oh, the pigs, pigs, the boar. Uh, I like the bamboo, like aesthetics to the weapon. That's that's a yeah for me. I like I like her more than a lot of the other. I should have just why am I not just looking at the weapon so you can see it? It's literally called pork a porculius. Pork. Boar. Pig. I couldn't really tell who they were right away though. That's a yeah. I actually really like her design. Uh of course she has a summer outfit. Why wouldn't she have a summer outfit? Uh SR Le Coif Scissors. I actually, you know, it's funny. So I remember when League added their character that uses scissors as a weapon. I kind of, I'm kind of just down for that. I like giant scissors. Like that's one of those like absolutely ridiculous weapon types that I'm kind of just okay with. So yeah, that's a yeah for me. I like that. I, I imagine just, just literally just, 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 just cutting just overall, just like, just, just like their, their paper, just like a combo attack. We just keep freaking, yeah. You know what I mean? Like you just do that attack. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> That's yeah. Like with shears, you shear it. That's what you're doing. You're shearing it. All right. Anyway, Ladava SSR. All right. They ain't messing around. Are they a wrestler? L Ladava, you in? Legendary love. I get. I get. I got what's going on here. I'm going to, I'm going to say yes, because it looks Wait, are you raising your pinkies? Cause you're fancy. Are you raising your pinkies because they're fancy? I think you are. That's going to be a, yeah, I can tell I'd have a lot of fun playing this character. That's definitely going to be a, yeah. I wonder what the other art would have looked like. There's quite a few. I mean, I guess I could check real quick with Latava. Yeah. Oh yeah. The other art stuff. Actually, that's really, that, that's really the pinky keeps getting me. <laughs> The pinky keeps getting me over and over again. It's like, why are you trying to be fancy? Uh, Lady Grey. All right, so got like a necromancer style thing going on here. Another spear user. I do like a lot of the skeleton necromancer stuff that's going on here. She plays, she's putting it on a little hard, I think. But overall in the same, I think that could be a really interesting... A really, of course, she has a Halloween outfit. That only makes sense. Lady Caterpillar and Vera. That's funny. That's pretty funny. Just got this this little, little tech. Oh, this character has multiple versions. Okay, so Lady Caterpillar is the tank, and Vera is the other character. So we'll wait to judge Vera, but that's pretty funny. Laguna? I was like, that's not what I think it is. Uh... No, it's kind of generic, not super. Oh, wait, let me check the SSR. I, di I didn't see the SSR. That's a way better outfit, but it's also like that ultra formal outfit that I'm not like crazy about. Much better outfit, way better art at the very least. So uh, 
that's cool, but I, I'm gonna I'm gonna be on the no side of that. Uh, Lamretta, purified nun. That is the opposite of purification. Let me tell you. So I mean, so literally every part of that is the opposite of purification, as far as I'm concerned. There's, yeah, looks pure to me. Yeah, the one, two, three, four, five booze bottles definitely say otherwise. She's a drunk nun. I'm going to, as hilarious as that is, I'm going to say no. Lancelot is already in, so we don't you know, have to say anything about that. Alessia or Lekia, one of the two. Um, That's a pretty, it's, a, it's an okay aesthetic. I'm okay with this. I'm not again not crazy about it, but I'm okay with. Oh, let me see the grand version. Actually, the SSR version. See, I actually think this is one of those cases of over and back. Like, I, I feel like it was better when her outfit was simpler. I feel like this. Th I don't know. Something about this is. It, I I think this is better personally. Um, I guess I could check Lancelot's grand outfit. Oh my god! Yeah, that's a glow up. All right, that's a big big glow up right there. Uh, uh, the water version of <laughs> she's got two big dudes, just two big dudes. Um, I mean, her actual outfit's a little simpler here again. So yeah, I it's a little more misfortune-y, a little bit more, let me a little bit more. Uh, this is, yeah. Okay. I, I thought I recognized the name because of code gas, but I, I had to be sure. Cause it didn't say, it didn't say, oh, you, sometimes it says on in a column, you guys can't see which one it is but it didn't say that time. All right, Lena. Uh, more traditional mage aesthetic, which I don't think is too bad. There's not a lot of that going on here. So I think it could probably do it. They, they got to stop putting lanterns on all the staves. <laughs> you come on, you've got to come up with something else. Very white mage. Yeah, you know, it's kind of like a mix, but um, that's that's fine. That's cool. I, I, I'm not crazy. Maybe, maybe this has the earth one look. That's a lot more unique. I, I'm not like super crazy about it in particular, but it's, it's definitely less generic than the other one is. So I like that. Leona. Okay. See, so, so Leona has got a vibe. That's good. I like the vibe that Leona has right here. So that's, that's a, yeah, for me. I don't know. I just, she looked at me and I looked back and I was just like, Yes, <laughs> that was it. it was the, we, we had an understanding of each other right there. Okay, once again, they don't care about Leonora. I don't care about Leonora, all right? We have Levy. Oh, that's collaboration. <laughs> I should have recognized immediately who it was when I saw the name Levy and I saw the word collaboration on the right. Of course, it was going to be an Attack on Titan reference. Actually, it's Shigeki no Kyojin. Fucking weeps. Anyway. Levin sisters, not crazy about this in particular. It's weird. They're like three to five, the, the almost like idol group characters. I'm definitely not like all about Lich. I like the, I like the skull aesthetic better on the other character better. So that's, that's a no for me. That one's fine, but yeah, I like, I like the other one better. I see Lilliset coming up. Liliel, the dream melody. Nah, for the singing characters, we have one already, and I like the other one way better. Willa set. I wonder who that is. I sure hope they put her in the game. The joke is that I play Final Fantasy XI. Lily. Generic. Generic. Not, not excited. Lena. Are you collaboration? You are. Oh, Slay. I should have recognized. Okay. I honestly, again, not something I've heard about in years, Slayers. So that really threw me off guard. Labellia. Oh, he's an evoker with a big robot. Yeah. I think that's a yeah. I think that's a yeah. That's a big robot evoker right there. Okay. Uh, Loane. I almost said Little Wayne. <laughs> what <are> they... <laughs> Why are you presenting to me? I know that's a trio, but still. Uh, they do have an SSR. The... 
No, for the same reason as a lot of the other characters. No. Not not crazy about it. It's the boys. Well, the boys can stay the boys. Oh, one of the other dragons. That I like the way this dragon looks. This this dragon is the only reason I'm saying yes. Although actually this outfit's kind of cool. I actually kind of like this outfit. Yeah, Luo is 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 gonna be a yes. He's one of the only dragons I've really liked. Lucio. Um, I like the weapon. I like the weapon and I like the design. The design's a, it's 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 embellished but simple at the same time. I like it. Like it's got almost like a ninja in a sense. It's got kind of it's got kind of like a ninja vibe going on there. Uh Lucius SSR. Uh eh, kind of generic for me. He looks kind of cool, but I'm not not too crazy about it. <laughs> See a collaboration character coming up. Miserable curious. <laughs> they make me laugh, but the answer is no. Oh, gee, Luffy, I wonder who that's a collaboration with. Gee, I, gee, I wonder who that's a collaboration with. This is also collaboration, I think, too. Yeah, Necromancer. Okay. Oh, it's a Shadowverse character. Okay. Uh, Lunalu. Oh, it's another. Dude, they got Come on. You got to have Lunalu light SSR. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. All right. SSR. Uh, still a no. Um, I see the delusion here. She's imagining herself as the main character of a manga. And that's kind of neat. <clears throat> but uh, I'm going to say nay in terms of interest. Uh, Lyria, girl in blue. What makes the sky blue? So it doesn't say it's a collaborate. She reminds me of... Um, she's a doujin artist. Oh, she draws yaoi. Oh, that's very, very specific. Um, she reminds me of somebody else. What's her face? From she's part of the main cast. Oh, she is. She's in the main cast. Yeah, she is one of the main characters. No, but I mean from something else she reminds Emo from Harvestella. That's who. She's in but not but yeah, that's it. She does. She was in the picture with um Colossus earlier. Right, and she was in the story when I played it. I remember her. No, but I was thinking she reminded me of that. I don't recognize her from her artwork to her character in the game. I mean, the, the outfit is the same. But yeah, when I was when I saw Colossus earlier, yeah. Uh, where is it? Yeah, there she is. She's right there on his shoulder. There we go. Okay, all the same. <laughs> Just chilling up there. All right, so where were we? We were on... God, there's, it's so, it's such a long, okay, hold on, I've scrolled past it now. Lunalu, Lyria, here we go. Lyria, so that leaves us with Macula Marius. All right, well, you know, kind of, actually kind of cool looking. For, foregoing the other reasons of interest, actually kind of cool looking. I like it, that's a yes. Uh, Magusa, another, actually maybe not an Evo, it doesn't say Evoker on the right, but she does have a giant boorish, metal man doing everything for her uh, or uh, beckoning for her at her beck and call. She's just a witch. Well, that makes it way less, all right, way less interested. All right, that's uh, that's going to be a no for me. Oh, she has a summer outfit. Of course she has a summer outfit. Yeah, she is a demon familiar, but she's not an invoker. A little confusing, but no. Guardian of the West. She's a Zodiac character. She's uh, the year of the chicken. Year of the chicken, specifically. No, not crazy about it. Uh, Makara, Bunny Girl. No, another Zodiac character, by the way. Year of the bunny. Rabbit, you know. Uh, oh, the design here is okay, but I don't know. I'm not like, not crazy about it. You know, I said year of the chicken. Okay. Yeah, she was 2023. I remember last year being that. Uh, Menamel. That not the aesthetic I expected, but my sister's booze all I need. You're a, you're a homewrecker? She's a homewrecker. She's out. That's it. She out. On principle alone, we can't have her. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's <laughs> I know that's probably not what the title of her name meant, but that's how it reads. <laughs> her sister's boo. 
<laughs> I know, it's sister. <laughs> it's different. But listen, that's how it reads. All right. Uh, oh, my goodness. Uh, she's an evoker. Oh, she's a pretty cool evoker. That's a very big juxtaposition between the two. But, uh, yeah, she's a pretty cool evoker. Okay. Mm. Mariah. Mm. Kind of a, a, a pretty cool brutish aesthetic, but a little basic. <laughs> yeah, that's a yes. I like it. I don't know why, but the Harvins that are just really cool mages are always a yes for me. That's like, I found my weakness in terms of just things I'll say yes to. Uh, Mary SR. Oh, she's kind of neat. Okay, yeah. She, see, now that, that's a still kind of a generic treasure hunter look, but I like it a little bit better than the other one. So that's, uh, Mary's a yes. It, it, get a yes from me. Uh, Medusa. Um... I guess because of the hair is supposed to be like snake. Oh yeah, no, that's that makes a lot more sense. Beloved Serpentus. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I like it. I like it. That gets a yes. That gets a yes from me. Meg, shut up, Meg. Very ordinary girl. I mean, she has a shark. <laughs> kind of cool design, but that's uh, I'm not crazy about it. Meg and Mari. <sighs> That's her friend, the August sisters. Does Mari have her own? I guess not. All right. Uh, Melissa Bell. She's melee. Yeah, she is. A, she, I think she's punch and dagger. Insane stuff. Ah, it's a wife. All right. Long haired princess. No. Lame. Lame. Did I just see Medion as the next name? I'm scared. Uh, she doesn't look like she even wants to be here. <laughs> I like the idea, but she doesn't even look like she wants to be here. So I'm going to, I'm going to go past. Okay. It's a different kind of median. Uh, very different. What the heck do you turn into a ship? Just like in your entirety. Okay. All right. Uh, Matera. Another bow. Probably one of the better bow, bow users I've seen. Yeah, that's a yes. I think that's a yes for me. Summer. Oh, look. Oh, yeah. He said, I get, you know what? Literally don't know how I didn't see them coming being a Primarch. Because just like Gabriel, named after the Archangels. Uh Kind of, I don't know. I feel like the Archangel designs are so extra. She's she's just so extra. I also see what they're doing here with the Archangels, where they're taking what were they're they're, they're gender bending the Archangels primarily. Um, they're like I don't know. It's just like it's like an over embellishment for me. I suppose it's a lot going on, and that's like that's representative of their design. I get it, but. I don't know. It's just, it's just a bit much. It's just, that's it. It's just a bit much. It's half and half with the Primarchs. Okay. Well, the first two I've run into have been uh, gender bent. So just uh, making a notice. Who is this? This is a collaboration character. Tale of Intersecting Fates. Mila Max. I've recognized the name, but it's a Tales. It's a Tales thing, right? Tales of Zillia. Yeah. Just like the other one. Okay. I should have known because it said Tales of like the other event. Yeah. Uh, Milior. Okay, I'm a sucker for dual crossbows, so that's a yes. Big sucker for dual crossbows. And Sally Leo. No, you're fine. You're fine just being on your own. That's fine. Mimla. <laughs> Self. That's frightening. But no, I'm gonna I'm gonna say no to this one. I'm not particularly drawn to them. Uh, Mimlamel and Stump Eye. That's a chariot named Stump Eye. Okay, not crazy. Still. Still not super excited about him. Toot toot, mother. Levin Knight. Generic. It's a little generic. No big deal. Uh, Muriel and Reset. Uh, another one of those dual characters, even individually as they're, they're alchemists. No, not crazy. Not crazy about it. Uh, looks like Mirren's SSRs are only holiday and summer. So, oh, she looks fun. Samurai Dreamer. I feel like I've said yes to enough other other katana characters, and she's a little too 
not even, I don't know. She doesn't, she doesn't say she, she looks bubbly and fun, but that's, that's about it for me. Um, she does have her holiday versions and whatnot. So it looks, it looks fun, but I, I've said yes to a lot of other Katana users already. Misha, SSR. No, again, little just, I mean, the whole rose aesthetic thing she's got going on. But like, it's, I don't know. Yeah, not, not, not crazy about it. It's fine. Uh, got another Idolmaster. Monica, is that who I think it is? No, it's not. Okay, it is, it is its own character. All right. Um, it's kind of cool. Again, not crazy about it, but kind of cool. Oh, what's the grand one look like? We've, we've made note that the grand ones, I like the other one better. I like the, the not grand design better in all honesty. The dream twins. Is this a collaboration? No. <laughs> like when characters look like they don't even want to exist in the game. Yeah. That's a no from me. Uh, Morigna. That's another trio. Goddess triumvirate. Yeah, another, another another embellishment that, you know, just not too crazy about. Miss Miranda, she's a teacher. She, she looks excited to be here. A lively mentor. Yeah, she looks excited to teach. Charming broom. Yeah, she looks, that that's actually, uh, that's, that's, that's higher on the list. That's a thumbs up. Mugen. I mean, I know that he's a melee harp user. Which is kind of cool. My man's a berserker. I think we keep. I think we put the boy. Yeah, the boys in. The boy. The, my man's in. Them arms, though. Look at them arms. Jesus. All right, we gotta start moving through this list a little bit faster. I got. I gotta make it to the gym at some point. Oh, Slayers. Yeah. Again, just it didn't say. It does say collaboration on the right. Samurai Showdown collaboration. Nobby and Robin. I mean, don't need to even guess that. Uh, now, noise, now he's kind of generic bow user. It's kind of looks like a lot of the other characters. I like that he's horseback, but eh, not crazy. Maybe one of his other outfits looks better. That's way better. That's way better. I'm not, that's cheating though. I'm going to, I'm going to, wow. Yeah, that's way better. It's also a completely different weapon type. It's a spear, but it's a lot better. Oh, let me see Narmaya's uh, grand. I like that. I Again, I think her base outfit, though, is I like it better. I don't know. Maybe it's just because I saw him in the first. I, I, something, sometimes I just don't care for like the crazy outfits. I just want something that's simple and easy to enjoy. Nectar. Mm, kind of cool, but a little generic. Uh, Nehan. Don't care. Don't care at all. That's that. I just don't care. You're trying to be cool. I don't think you're cool. That's it. I just don't think you're cool. That's all there is to it. Nimone, uh, I like her energy and the weapon also is her. See, I, li I like the consistency between her clothing and the actual cloth that is on the back of her, uh, ax spear, which is what I was going to call it. It's what it says. She's an ax and spear user. So that makes sense. Yeah. Nimone, uh, Nimone, cool. All right. I like that. I see what the one after this is. Nay, nay. No. That's it. Again, they don't care. I don't care. Yeah. Idol master collaboration. Uh, this is a, oh my goodness. See, I, his, I like, I like the like Hawk ish style design. Okay. True story. I'm a sucker for Hawk designs as well. Or like bird designs. He's an Eagle. It's, I don't know. It's weird because I guess when I see eagles and hawks, like I kind of get the same vibe. So I just kind of lug them into the same bit. Um, but yeah, that's, he's a, he's a definite yes for me. And then we have Neza who eh, kind of cool design warrior God for what he is. It's kind of a cool design. He's got the literal dragoon stance, by the way, like literal dragoon stance. The difference being, he's just looking directly at us. Uh, he's cool design wise, um, but you know, not, not crazy about anything else. Nicholas, that is, uh, that's riding. <laughs> Hello, excuse me. Metal gear solid wants their character back. Raiden, Raiden, Raiden deserves to be back. Mr. Common rider himself. I just get straight up. Like when I see, Oh, I clicked the wrong one. Uh, uh, my brain immediately takes me to Raiden. Let's see the light version. I kind of like that better. I think that, oh, wow, that's pretty cool. Um, oh, see, now that, 
that makes more sense. Yeah, that's yeah. Okay, I see what we're working with here. Okay, I like his light design a lot better, actually. Near. Sorry, I was expecting something far different. She looks like she is suffering endlessly. Uh, her who had her existence denied at every turn. So yeah, I guess I was kind of right. She looks like she's been suffering endlessly because she is. <laughs> so they got it right. <laughs> I mean, you can even see with the design here with like the, the mask on the it, whenever you see an anime character that's just always covered in a mask. There's some sort of suffering or trauma involved. Um, also a serial killer. OK, we're going to say yes to all. <laughs> I'm afraid what happens if I say no. Uh, and we're going to skip past the promotion care. Actually, I don't know if that was a, Ooh, I like this. So it's another eternal. Okay. See, I like this eternal another heart. Why do I like all the Harvin eternals? And I don't like the other ones. I really like this character. I like it. That one, that one wins. That one wins just to make sure. Okay. You aren't who I thought. Okay. Oh, you're wait. No. Yeah. You're yeah. You're just. Whatever. This design's kind of generic. The dragon here is pretty cool, though. Uh, it is a Rage of Bahamut character, mind you. But I, I skipped it because I said it was part of a promotion. I just decided to go back to it. Noah. Um, Ferryman of the Stars. That's actually kind of cool. I like the weapon. I like this. That's a, yeah, I like him. I like him, actually. I was a 50-50, and I started clicking through the images. That wasn't even his grand version, too. What's his grand? Oh, my. I like Again. I like the grand version less. There's too much going on. Come on. It was fine before. It doesn't, it doesn't need all that. Stop. Uh, then we have Norcel. Again, do, wait, wait. Does he have an SR version? They don't care. I don't care. Neve. Uh, we have a violinist, a graceful violinist. Uh, I like her a little more than some of the other ones. Um, she's another one of those live event characters i think that's why she has a similar aesthetic to the rest of them so uh that was that was, that, was, that one was cool i like a lot of the live event characters they're just all kind of samey because they, they need to be because it's a matching theme you know what i mean so it's that's not really fair fallen angel of the key uh in some ways generic in some ways not the big thing is she has a keyblade uh i'm sorry a key yeah yeah it's a saber that's a keyblade so um i'm i'm torn <laughs> Hmm. But uh, kind of cool. I like it. I'd say yes. Is there going to be more characters for Grand Blue? Yeah, there's two more characters. In, have I? So I don't know who the two characters who are coming in April are. Have I passed them yet? I haven't, have I? <laughs> Olivia. No, I haven't. Okay. Um, I like her other version better than this one. Yeah, it's another case. Uh, Orchid and Orchid Grand. Yeah, there are two more we know, at least for now, that are in uh, April. You haven't seen the two new ones? Okay, that's fine. Orchid Grand. Of course, it didn't load. No, not. I mean, it's not loading some of the arts, but even still, I don't think the answer is going to be. Oops, wrong one. I don't think the answer is going to be yes. Eh, it's a little better. I don't know. It's just she's got kind of that like that like lolly thing going on there, and I'm not crazy about it. I like the the stand in the back though. I like that. I like the stand in the back. He's cool. But uh, no, uh, Owen. <laughs> Neither of those work for me. <laughs> uh, is this the live event one? Yes, so this is a live event one. Oh, I like her. I like her. The flutist. I like her better than the other one. She also stands out. She's got a pretty distinct dress design compared to the other ones. Yeah. I, I like I like Pamela. Pamela's a yeah. Paris. Eh, kind of generic a little bit. He there's there's at least two or three other characters I've seen doing the exact same thing so far. Uh Pavidus. If they don't care, I don't care. I looked, but I don't care. Palia, oh, Zodiac. <laughs> She's this year's character, Year of the Dragon. Uh, I can see why she, actually, foregoing the more obvious parts that people are excited about, her design is really cool. 
So she's she's a yeah. I actually especially this. This this is this is really good. So that's that's literally 2024. That's the year of the dragon. So that's a recent one. Yeah, no, I think that's really cool design. Peckerin. You know what's crazy? I know this is a redive collaboration, Princess Connect redive. Kind of just I don't know, I like that design. It didn't say collaboration on the right till I clicked it, but you know, there's got to be at least one character like this in Relink at some point, right? One of them. What's his SSR? I got to see it. Um, That's not what I was expecting for the SSR. <laughs> that definitely caught me by surprise. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. All right. So Percival is in, if I recall correctly. He is one of the characters who is in, who we know for certain is in Relink. He's in the release of Relink specifically. Uh, and he's kind of cool. He kind of falls in the generic category, but he looks like he'll probably be a good time. Yeah. Yeah, he looks, he's got like a cool generic design. It's a little on the edgier side. He's got a, he's a little cocky and whatnot. So yeah, Percival is is, is a Relink character. We know they're in. Uh, Petra. Oh, I like the, I like the design in the back. I like the, the fiery dude with the tattoos for her, uh, her stand. She's kind of cool. I like it. It, it. Ether of the wind, uh, Philosophia SR. Mm. No, it's not doing it. She's a philosopher. That's so lazy. She's a philosopher named Philo Philosophia. I'm upset, and I want you to know that. Anyway, Folia. I like the wolf's design. The wolf design, I'm more interested in in her design. So the wolf is cool, but that's it. Uh, Poseidon. I mean, a, a cool interpretation of Poseidon, I suppose, but I don't know why I was expecting something not so literal for Poseidon. So... That's fine, I guess. Oh, hold on. No, 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 no. SSR, 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 SSR. Um, Predator. Oh, she's a yes. Look at her weapon. She's an instant yes. That's that's it. That's odd. Yeah. 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 Wow, Prish. I wonder who that's who that's from. Wow. I sure hope that honestly, if they do pick a Final Fantasy XI character, I hope it's her. Prish is cool. Rackham's in. We know Rackham. Ton of fun to play, by the way. Hilarious to play, actually. He's just, he, I feel like I'm cheating when I play as Rackham. I genuinely do. In the demo, when I play, I feel like I'm cheating. What does his grand look like? Too much, man. I like simple. Simple is just better for him. Ragnazo. He's in. You know, it's crazy. It makes it seem like his weapon, his, his recruitment weapon, it looks like a spear. He punch. See, I'm glad I said no to the other one earlier who had a kind of weapon like this. My man, my man's got, um... What's the word I was going to look for? What's the anime with the guy with, with metal arms in one punch? What's his name? He gives me, his his arms give me that kind of vibe. Genos. Yeah, he's got like that, my arms turn into other weapons kind of thing going on here. Because I see, well, at the very least, they, they, they generate fire. Like You can see all of that. He's got that, he's, for his arms, he's got that kind of vibe. Oh, wait, the Randall's an R, but he has an SSR. Very important. They're just going to keep giving me characters I'm going to say yes to now, huh? That's a yeah. That's an easy yeah. That's a yeah. That's that's easy. Like Now they're, they're just throwing ones in front of me. I can't say no to at this point. Leg. That's yeah. That's, oh, that's an Idol Master, Street Fighter, uh, Razia. Wait a minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I, I just clicked on the SR version. Okay. Uh, she is a gun nurse. <laughs> a spear gun draft nurse. Um, not too crazy about it overall, but, you know, that's just the SR. Oh, that's right. It's an SSR and SR. Uh, it's a bit much. See, again, I kind of like the other design better. 
This one looks more ready to fight. This one, this one looks a lot more like a fighter, but it's so like it's just I don't know. It's too the design is too much for me. Cannon Lance, yeah, it's it's doesn't do it for me. Uh, Red Luck, is that a trophy? He's a big gourmet king. He fights with a trophy. You know what? I'll say yes on principle alone. Ray. Hmm. Kind of like that. Kind of like the. I like how the difference is the eyes open, eyes close. You could barely tell. Look. Look at the eyes opening and closing. That's it. Um, no, it's kind of cool though. I do actually like it, but no. Uh, I already have gone to Goza, so to me this seems a bit redundant. I do like I do like the design though, but it's like I already have gone to Goza. So he's cool, but I have gone to Goza. That's it. He gets a yes otherwise. Richard! Hello, Setzer. Uh yeah. I like this. I like I like the gambler. I, I said yes to another gambler aesthetic earlier, but I mean, yeah, the answer is still yeah. I think this is another of the live ones. <laughs> you know what? For fighting with a tuba, I'll say yes. Just just for fighting with a tuba. That's all. Rabomi. Okay, this is a big standout from a lot of the other ones, and I'm a big fan of it. That's that's a big yes for me. Like aesthetically, very, very standout. It's very mega. Like just obviously the way the arms are bigger than the hands is very mega manny. But I that's obviously on purpose. Um, but I really like it. So that's that's a big yes for me. What does the event one look like? Does it look like mega? <laughs> I don't why the fingies? Why do why all the individual fingies? Oh, because they all shoot missiles. That's why. That makes sense. I like it. Romeo. Eh. I mean, I like the the like angel like stand that he's got going on there, but I did, I mean, it's obvious him and Catalina are in some capacity like similar. I got because that's the thing. Catalina with Ares, and then he's got uh he's a former lord. Yeah, so it says all those hard as if skirted means and broken. Yeah, that's his uh it's Romeo and Juliet. Yeah, not crazy about it. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. This is the R. There's an SSR. Oh, I kind of, oh, I like this. This is another yes. Avenger caged by a mask. Yeah, I like this, especially this. Okay. No, I like, yeah, I like, I like, Ros I like Rosamia. That's, that's, that gets a thumbs up from me. Uh, Rosetta's in, so, you know, no, no mysteries there. Um, she's, she's in the story mode. You just can't play as her, but she's playable, obviously, in Relink itself. So that'll be fun. Uh, let's see. Holiday, Summer, Rosine. Look at her SR. You know, it's funny. I love this. I, I love this in particular. Madam, Madam Cracker. I love this. This 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 brings me great joy. <laughs> I love this. This makes me smile. I yeah, that's a that's a yes. I love characters like this. Absolutely. Sign me up. Uh and then Ryan, Brave Warrior, kind of generic. Cool looking, but generic. You know? Oh, Ryu, yeah, let's get Ryu in there. Idol Master collaboration, Salilao. Sure hit shooter? Nah. Other character that has a similar-ish vibe that I like way better. Soccer Awards, the Premium Gala. Archangel of Hatred. Uh, so different. Wait, are the so I'd assume the Archangels and the Primarchs are not the same thing here. Even though the Primarchs are named after Archangels. Or is this considered a Primarch? Different? Yes. Okay. I like this better than the Primarchs so far. The Primarchs are a little bit... So here's the big thing. The Primarchs are like a lot. His actual design of his character is really simple. The wings are an embellishment. They're all the different colors for different elements here. But I like that 
just his base design without the wings is a very simple like outfit. It's it, it it it's it's far more aesthetically pleasing to the eyes. So uh, the main one, however, is his event appearance, which I also kind of like. Actually, this 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 works too. I I still think this this accom. Again, it's still really simple, like, and it's just you could do a lot with it. So. I, I I like I like this. This is this is a yes. Both both versions of him, I think they do a lot. Like they they do a lot with what's around him, but his actual design is is very clean. Yes, that's what it is. It's very very clean. So that's that's a big yes for me because that that's that's design done well. Uh, Sarah, who is another melee fighter, I actually I like this sandcastle. I don't get enough of a feel from this. I mean, she has a stand here kind of thing going on. I actually really like the stand from this one. Uh, I'm torn. I'm not fully sold, but I'm not like a no. I'm going to try a different one and see if that helps. No, it's one of those where I'd want to see the action versus just the art, I suppose. Um, it just kind of misses the mark a little bit. Saranon, kind of a ultra ultra generic. Nothing wrong with that, but I, I, don't, I don't really feel like I need more of that. Not a fan. Not a fan. Saria, definitely don't care. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, Satir, uh, I like the energy a little bit. I'm not crazy about it all, all, to, all the same, but uh, that's it's fine, I suppose. Skathika. Guardian True Dragon. Interesting. She is the True Dragon of the Alster. I like the little dra I like the dragon here more than I like her. I suppose. I like the, the dragon form more. Yeah, why don't, why don't another of you say she's a dragon when I've already said it? Yeah, and I'm saying I like the dragon for more. Than the actual character. Than the, the, the character who's visibly in front of us who presents as the guise of the character. I like them in... Because the dragons can look like... Can look awful or the character can look cool and the dragon could look awful. No, here, I don't really care about the character, but I like the design of the dragon. I'm going to slap you in the face. <laughs> uh, Selfira, she's another violinist. I liked one of the other viol. I actually think her design is pretty cool. So she's like kind of on par with the other violinist that I said yes to. Uh, excuse me, but are those your hands? You got, yeah. She's a yes. Okay. I'll say yes to the cat girl. That's just how it has to be. See Fawn. Oh boy. Yeah, here we go. He's an attorney. Yeah. So I think everyone told me I was going to like See Fawn earlier. He's one of the April care. Okay. So he's one of the free DLC characters. Okay. Good. Cause I like, I like the design. He, I, this he looks kind of ridiculous, but as the design get the designs get more grand, it kind of works. You know, okay, another big thing. Again, his design a little generic, but but it's simple in like a good way. He, he, he looks kind of like a dark knight in a sense. You know, he's got the chest plate, he's got the big knee plates over his legs. Uh and even on the twin swords with like all the blades in the back. And you can see these are the other eternals behind him, too. Siafon. Yeah, this, um, he works. I like his design. His event design is pretty cool. Yeah, let's see his event design. Yeah, I mean, I guess it's, it's a little strange going from one to the other, but yeah, that's fine, I suppose. He's the leader. Oh, and here's another Eternal. Oh, yeah, I really like, and then this is the other character coming, isn't it? Is this the other one? Or is it the final Eternal I haven't looked at? He's in verses. Okay. So it's the, there's one more eternal I haven't seen. Okay. Yeah. I do like this. I do like Seox here. And I think nobody should be surprised because fist. So yes. Seriul. 
or Saruel, I should say. Uh, don't care. Not very interesting. Uh, Sebastian <laughs> makes me smile, so he gets a yes. <laughs> I'll, I'll give him the yes on principle alone. I like it. Um, I actually like this. Punk with a heart of gold. Yeah, I like that. I like that. That's another cool Harvin. Harvin, they did a, there's a really good amount of Harvins. Like, I actually really like a lot of the Harvin designs, shockingly. Um, not like an aesthetic I go for most of the time. And that's only his SR. I like the SR a little bit better. Only a little bit better. Shao, Shady Apothecary. No, don't care. Can't make me care. Idol Master, Shinobu, Shinsei. Okay, here we go. Shion's the next non. You know what? A nice, simple design. I like this one. This one this one works for me. I've said yes to a lot of samurais already. Of course, she has a summer outfit. Why am I not surprised? I, before I even, I should have known. Shitori. Uh, another kind of simple design that works. Yeah, that's another That's another kind of simple. It's a similar in vibe. I, I feel like, I can't but feel like they know each other. But uh, yeah, those both work. I like both of those. Main story character. She does kind of scream. Oh, Jesus Christ. That's, uh, well, that's a lot going on. <laughs> Do you need any more effects? <laughs> yeah, I picked up that they were a boss. That didn't surprise me at all. That's a lot. There's a lot going on there, but it's pretty cool across all the different artworks. You gave them a summer out. <laughs> I, I, you know what? I gotta know. What did, what did you even, that's okay. That's a pretty cool summer outfit design. I'll admit that's, I like that. That's, that's, that's pretty cool. I like that. The, the summer outfit's pretty sick. I got to admit that's, that's not what I expected, but I think it's really cool. <laughs> oh, Shiva. That's cool. His outfit, his outfit's cool. Show the reborn kick. Another mo I see. I like, he's, I think he's cooler than than the other motorcycle user, um, which I think was a, we said was a Rage of Bahamut character anyway, the other one. Oh, and Destiny Knuckles is his weapon, so he's in. That's fine. That's it. Uh, aspiring Tactician. I like this design too. See, some of these are, they're getting, we're getting to some a lot like simpler designs. Like, don't get me wrong. Her design's ridiculous with the cross belt on the one leg and the, and the plate on the other one, but it's easier to digest, I suppose. There's not like a whole lot else going on. Siegfried is in. Uh, I want to see Siegfried's fire outfit. Okay, that's pretty cool. I like it. Her leg looks like an egg. <laughs> uh, Sig. She is, I kind of like her, her weapon. Her weapon's got, it's like a chain whip. It's like a chain spear kind of thing going on here. Yeah, okay. Sig's cool. Um, Silva. Oh, see, now that's a gun. See, now that's a gun. I like, that's a yes. That's a gun. I like it. I like it. That's a, that's, that's a good gun. I like it. Skull. <laughs> the Harvins, man. The Harvins keep getting me. I like that design too. Skull and Belurga. I thought, that, is that the name of his? Oh, that's one of his friends. Okay. Friends. I don't know. Somebody he knows, I guess. I can't really assume the association between the two. Thousand Years Successor. See, this is like the second character that's had nearly the same aesthetic, but I do like the fans. The fans win. There was another like Ari looking character earlier, but I like the fan weapons here. So this one I like better. Uh, let me see one of the other outfits, actually. That's good, too. Yeah, I like that. Okay. Yeah, I like it. Another kind of simple design. I wouldn't be too thrilled about this character, but I do, again, I like it. Like the nice kind of simple design to it. Let's see what the, the water one looks like. You know, I had a feeling that's what it was going to look like because I clicked somebody else's water and it was that kind of like thin white gown looking thing. So that doesn't surprise me at all. Uh, this is a, uh, oh, it's Zillia, I'd assume again. Uh, then we have Sora's Veteran of the Crushing Fists. They punch. That's it. That's all you need to know. Oh, it's Tales of Graces. There you go. So, oh, and that's not even the SSR. Yeah, the SSR, yeah, punch. 
Good. Good. Yep. Yep. That's good. Special week silence, Suzaku and Tonka Teo. That is a collaboration. I hate that I read that out loud. Spinna. Do they care? Actually, not a bad base design. They gave them a holiday design, really? They went from R to holiday? Hey, that's that's swag. That's swag, my man. Actually, one probably the best looking rare character in the whole batch so far. So is it 70? Goodness gracious. I'll look like that at 70, though. So that's, I believe it. Mm -hmm. Ah, another Tails collaboration. Uh, Stan. Another R. Does have an event unit. That's not a bad base design, I suppose. There is a Stan and Eliza here. He looks way better here. So if that was his design, that would be a yes. Okay. Yeah, Spinner's the strongest. Right, honestly, I really like the design for Spinner. I like it. Uh, Sturm, let's look at the grand design first. Her grand design. Uh, maybe look at the normal design instead. She has a summer version. Of course, she has a summer version. Uh, I'm not crazy about it. It's a little generic, um, but still kind of cool. Don't hate it. Definitely don't hate it. Uh, Supermare. <laughs> you know, I was going to say, wow, that's it. Wow, that's it. Then I saw the giant snowman. That That is the angriest snowman I've ever seen in my life. And I love it. <laughs> Just imagine that, that snowman's going to punch you in the face. There's a summer version. Is there a summer? Is there a summer snowman? Oh, you know. Also, I just realized. She, by the way, I didn't look at the image on the right. I couldn't tell from that, but she has a giant snowman. I could tell from the summer outfit, though. I'll tell you that much. Uh, Sutera, let's go straight to the SSR. She probably a favorite. I can't help but uh, actually pretty good. It's somewhat traditional archer aesthetic, but. Uh, but stand out ish. I like it. I like Sotera. <laughs> uh, let's see. Sotera. Suze this is a collaboration almost certainly, right? Yep. Okay. Code gas. Uh, Sylph. Oh, it's got like a fairy design. I mean, it makes sense. I like it. That's a pretty cool design. Seer event. That's it. Uh, boy with hope in his eyes. I've been. Mean, Cool design, but it's, you know, pretty basic. Tabina. Tabina also got kind of a basic design, but works pretty well. I think that actually, I think that works very well, actually. Collaboration, Tanya SSR. Uh, pretty good. I like her. She, she looks like she would fit right in with the cast of like Relink or Rising uh, in the SSR outfit at the very least. Of course, she has a summer outfit. Why wouldn't she have a summer outfit? Uh, is this another? Yes. Okay. I had a feeling. It didn't say collaboration, but I had a feeling. Tina, she has, she has a lantern, but it's more like a furnace lantern, which I think is a little cooler. She's another goblin killer. So related to what's her face. There's uh, there was another goblin killer character that we, we ran into earlier at the very beginning, like two hours ago at this point. Uh, Terutendo, yeah, I figured as much. That's from uh, Sidem Fantasy. Then we have the Loane Bros. <laughs> uh, bro fam forever. I'm not, yeah, I'm still not a big fan of like the units that are like three or five, like three, four or five characters all at once. It's the boys, at least not without getting to know them. Like I don't, I don't look at them and go, oh my God, that's so cool. Therese, Bunny <laughs> I'm saying no, because I don't care much for the act, the overall design. Maybe maybe the uh, SSR will do the trick. Actually, I do like the SSR, the dress duelist, better than the bunny duelist. So, yeah, actually, that, that does work a good bit better. So, hmm. And Gandalf is the father. <laughs> Threo, uh, another one of the Eternal. See, okay, so there were only two Eternal designs I didn't like. This this is another Eternal. Yeah, I liked like five of the, I think, seven Eternal designs that I uh, that I saw. It was just it was just those two. It's just those two that I saw. Yeah, this one's another cool one. Charge Blade character. All right. Uh, Tiamat. One of the Guardian of the Wind. 
Oh, I like. I really like her hair. The hair with the with the the bang over over the front. Okay, the, yeah, I like her. Tiamat's cool. Uh, Tien is another Eternal. I can see. And uh, this is a, a gun one, the Ten Wolf gun. Thrill does playing the dragons. Do the dragons. Uh, sh- this one she works. She works pretty well. I like her. She got guns. She got guns. Master of guns. Don't worry. Here in America, she'll be a favorite. Magic surgeon. Eh. Not bad, but nothing exciting. Tro. Cool artwork, but nothing too exciting again. Subasa. Another motors. That is a motorcycle with a gun, a, a truck. What are you, what is going on in this pic? I get he's the squad leader, so he's got like a little bit of everything going on. What is going, what is even going on here? He's pretty cool though. I'll give him that. I can't, I can't hate him. Can't hate him. It's collaboration. Yep. I just bu- bugged me because they both had the same name. It's pretty cool. But that thing's wild. Uh, Twayan, why are all the Eternals here at the end? Uh, this is the bow user, and she's also pretty cool. Yeah, I don't know. It's just there's only been two Eternal designs. And this is the other DLC character. Okay, the fr- free DLC characters, mind you. All right, I got to get to the end of this list. This is taking, I knew this would take a while, but <laughs> well, listen, it made me laugh, but no. Tyra and Tyre. Also, bro looks like he's from a completely different genre of game. Like, he looks like he's from, like, a like a 90s Disney movie. He's Gaston, you're right! <laughs> he is Gaston! I knew I recognized that man! The Lamneron? What the heck? No, nothing clownish. Get that out. Get, oh, here's Ultimate Friday. We said we were going to save this for... Oh. That's very different. Oh, that's wild. Okay. Well, that's cool. <laughs> the point marker first. Hello, Ur- Uriel. I Uriel's design I like. I still, yeah, yeah, I like Uriel's design a little bit. I like it better than the other ones. Utsusemi, he's a fist. I have a different name for you, um, Utsusemi. <laughs> Another draft with uh, an, an agenda, I would say. Yeah, I know you by another name, <laughs> Utsusemi. Yeah, she's, a, she's probably a favorite among others. <laughs> uh, this is another one of the, the Year of the Dog. Year of the Doge. I like the Year of the Dog one. The dog at the good boy. Good boy, good boy, good boy, good boy. My cats are like, how could you betray us? Oh, hold on. There's a vain SSR. Don't even look at the one below. Just go straight to SSR. Eh. I think I I think he. It's got like a jockish like uh, appearance, almost kind of. Vane is in the game. Okay. The belt element. <laughs> You're right. How many belts does he have? Uh, I'm not crazy about it. It's not bad. Yeah, he got. Oh, yeah, he got himbo energy. There you go. That's that's what it is. Yeah, he got himbo energy big time. All right, Vanya. Uh, yeah, the Batgirl thing. It's fine. The vampire princess. Not crazy about it. Vanya and Melinda. I assume that's you know friend lover bat. Uh dinosaur pet, I suppose. Uh, none of the things I would have thought. Vanza. I like that weapon. I like that weapon a lot. Oh, and he ca- oh, yeah, no, he's in. Yeah, he's in. Mm-hmm. Uh, Vaserga, excuse me, Vazaraga. Oh, yeah. Little bit generically edgy, but I'll say yes. 
Although I, I kind of preferred the blacksmith earlier that had the the I'm sorry, the miner that had the the hammer and the sickle. I preferred that in terms of the the scythe aesthetic. I feel like it was just just less generic a little bit. Uh Vates, noble blood. Yeah, not crazy. I'm not crazy about the vampire stuff, you know. <laughs> Some might say I think they suck. Oh, that's actually not too bad of a design. I like the design. I don't think I'd be thrilled about playing that character, but I do like the design. Oh, good. An R. <laughs> hey, you know what? It made me laugh. <laughs> Not the kind of weapon I would have expected, but a pretty cool weapon. <laughs> uh, Vakala. Guardian of the North. One of the 12 Divine Generals. She's a Zodiac character. Yeah. She's... Uh, What's it called? Uh, the Year of the Rat. That's what it is. Yeah, Year of the Rat. Um, that's fine. I don't. It's weird how like I, I, I the vibe from between her and the other Guardians is is it feels a good bit different. She's been around for a while though. She got a lot of skins. Uh, Vera SSR. Um, Love crazed flower armor. Let me see the grand version before I make my judgment. Like the grand version a little bit more. Yeah, she's pretty cool. I like her. Year of the Dragon was ages ago. Year of the Dragons one looked really cool. Uh, Valena. Let's go Valena SSR. You know what? That works for me. I like it. Simple design, big shield, big sword. Yes. That's a yes. Walder, let's go Walder. There's no grand, so we'll just go. Oh, well, actually, this is an R. It's not a terrible design for an R unit, I forgot to say. Um, this is a little bit more Robin hoodie, which actually works. It's not bad. Not exciting, but not bad. Whamdus. I liked him better than most of the other R's and like ones with only SR. She's, of course, one of the six dragons. I uh, I like her design. What's the difference? Oh, it was, it was this. It just wasn't loading. Okay. Yeah, I like this. I like this dragon. The jellyfish dragon. Yeah, I mean, I see what you mean. All the tentacles are their own dragons. Will. Who's Will? Oh, I actually kind of like that. It's like a saber staff kind of deal going on here. It's got a little, yeah. No, I like that. That was good. Wellness, Firestorm Scythe. Oh, he's an edge lord to the maximum. He's the edge lord dragon. That's it. He's the edge lord dragon. He's also one of the coolest dragons. So it works out. He's a goofball. That picture is edgy as hell. The werewolf and the little girl. <laughs> that would be funny. I like it. Hello, Little Red Riding Hood. Uh, Yai. <laughs> really? Well, I can already tell you what my answer is going to be to this. The answer is going to be no pretty much every time on that one. Uh, Yggdrasil. Oh, pretty good design. Guardian of the World Tree. I mean, obviously, Yggdrasil. Um, no, good design. Simple. I like it. Ingwi. Probably going to just say yeah to that one. Eh, that, this is weird. I don't know why this looks a little weird to me. That's something else entirely we got going on here, but that's fine. Um, I like this one. I, li I like this art. For some reason, this one, when he's like suited up a little bit, I, I like it a little less. I like this one, though. Event boss. All right. Uh, Yudara, we already know, is in. What's his SSR look like? Oh, it's kind of... Wait, that is his outfit. Is, wait, is this one his clothes? Oh, that, yeah, he is. A, he's in his SSR outfit in the uh, in Relink. Uh, what's his wind outfit? <laughs> that's pretty. Uh, that's pretty cool. His wind outfit. Here, hold on. Let me scroll down so people can see it. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I like it. You, I'm in the game. Wow. Oh, I skipped a character. Hold on, I'll go back to it. Uh, we've seen a handful of other characters that have a similar vibe, so I'm kind of over it. 
Oh, that's a collaboration. Never mind. I skipped it. Hmm. I'm in the game and I'm a, and I'm a Fox girl. <laughs> that's a cat. That's just a free unit. That's just, that's it. That's a cat. That's all it is. It's a young cat. There's nothing else to it. It's a cat. It's a cat. Cat. Yule. Uh, Thousand Year Seeker. Uh, not a bad design. She's got good energy. She got the little, she got the, the jingle bells in her ears. That's fine. Of course she has a summer outfit. Why wouldn't she have a summer outfit? And then she has the uh, Ruby and Lazuli dancers. Uh, Uesis. That's a floofy tail. Chivalrous Knight. For a Chivalrous Knight, she sure looks carefree. I'll tell you, I'll tell you that much. Uh, well, that wasn't the summer outfit that I selected. I like the kind of big sword here, though. A little basic, but in a good way. Uh, let's see. That was that was Uesis, right? That I just clicked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uni. Mm. Well, she likes reading, but I could do without. Oh, look, Yuri Lowen. <laughs> Yuri Lowell. I almost thought I said Yuri Lowenthal. <laughs> I was like, what's he doing here? I see Yuri, and my brain fills in the rest. The name being so similar really doesn't help. Uh, obviously, a uh, Yuri, by the way, not Uni. Yuri Lowenthal. Yuri Lowy. Lowell. Oh, uh, yeah, Tails. Tails character. Anyway. Sagacious Duke. Hmm. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, he's cool. I like him. Not over embellished at all. What the hell is this name? Is this a clap? No, it's not. <laughs> I like it, though. Is that, I, I don't want it just on name alone. I don't want to ever have to be around them. <laughs> Zalhamealina. 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 All right. That's, uh, I got to say that one a million times fast. Oh, God. This, uh, he looks like he's having a good time. He looks miserable here. He looks like he's having a better time in the second one. He's, oh, he's on set by delusions. That's always great. That's, that's always great. Uh, Zehek. The dagger looks cool, but the design doesn't do anything. Maybe the SSR, because he was only an R unit. Yeah, that's better. That's one of those outdated artwork kind of situations. Zeta! What's Zeta Grand look like? I don't like that as much. It's actually, it's, it, it's pretty nice. But again, this for me is kind of like, that's just, that's just, it's just such a good base design. I just don't even want a different one. You know, that's just how I feel about that. Zooey, not Zoe, Zooey. Look at all the dragons. Oh, she's pretty cool. Gun and saber. I always like that combination. Yeah, I like that. Oh, yeah, she's got a, she's got a manderful. Oh, what's her grand design look like? That's her grand design is her. See, they baited me here. They baited me because I haven't been clicking on the summer designs, but I have been clicking on the grand designs. So they fucking, they pulled a fast one on me here and made the summer design the grand design. <laughs> they, they pulled a fucking fast one on me there. Oh, that's, I like that. That's good. I like that one. <laughs> Okay. Oh, Zoro and Sanji. I can't wait to have them. M's first year. M's. Oh, this is another collaboration. Are the, these are, um, this is another idol group or whatever it is, right? I'd assume here at the very end. Love Live or Love, yeah, Love Live. Okay. Yeah, there you go. All right. Well, uh, I actually made it through the entire cast. It only took me, what, two and a half hours? Yeah. So there's a lot of characters where, on their own, if you weren't comparing them to every other character on the list, their their designs are kind of okay. But in a game that's been around for so long with so many units, even when there's like a like a reason for them to be like they're from the same place or they're part of the same army, there's a lot of just uh, general overlap and like design philosophy. So 
I, I think in terms of like cast members that I would be interested in having in their other titles, whether it be Rising or Relink, Relink obviously being the one I'm going to play, uh, I feel like there's a lot I would just not really care to include on appearance alone. Now, of course, if I was someone who played the game for those 10 years and had characters that I watched through the story, it would be it would it would make more sense. Um, SR and SSR are just their rarities. It's a it's a common term used for uh, gotcha games. SSR usually being uh, super what is it super rare and super super rare, right? I don't really play games that use SSR as a designation very often. Like I I just do like stars or like you know five star unit or whatever. Um, SSR usually I think is for super super rare, isn't it? Yeah, that's what it is. So it's rare, super rare, super super rare. So that's it. It's the super super rares are normally better, I suppose. Uh, but yeah, there are a lot of really good designs here. Um, it's good to know that at the very least we have those two Eternals coming. And it's crazy to go directly for those because I feel like there's a lot of characters. <clears throat> I guess I wouldn't. I feel like it's reaching really high to go for adding Eternals as your first two characters. <clears throat> Excuse me. I've been talking for like two and a half hours straight doing this list. That I can't help but feel like there would be be better suited staying closer to the ground first. I get that they're hyper popular. It makes sense. Don't get me wrong. They know who their most popular characters are. So additions are going to match that. But <clears throat> you know what I mean? Like, I, I feel like when I if, if I was thinking about adding characters to the game, I wouldn't go with two Eternals. I would go with something that's a little closer to the ground. And that's that's going to be the thing. It's, yeah, it's a big sales driver choice. You know what I mean? And I'm sure they're going to like, whatever they're going to do story-wise or content-wise and in uh, in addition to that is, is, is fine. And also because they're so strong might be part of the reason why they're so popular. Yes, that, that totally makes sense. But things like, you know, there's like, you have the Zodiac characters, you have, you know, the Archangels, which I, I assume, you know, the Primarchs, they're going to keep those for like a different bit. And obviously there's, as long as the game maintains popularity or they make multiple of them, or they do paid DLC somewhere down the line, and then they do free updates out. You know, I, as, far, as far as we know, what is it, like a year of free content they're planning on doing? We know of the first three updates and we don't know anything past May. Uh, that's that's all fine and good. But like, uh, yeah, so another reason they would introduce more generic. Well, I mean, they're not even generic characters if you're talking about the Eternals. I'm, I mean, I'm just saying there's a lot of characters here that look interesting <clears throat> that could offer up a better, more varied play experience. But they're going with the flashy, like the flashy, highly popular, ultra strong characters that when somebody, when somebody goes, I don't play grand blue, tell me about that character. You say, well, they're one of the most, they're, they're one of the most powerful groups of, of heroes and characters in the game. And, uh, yeah, there, there's a serious grind in the actual game, but they're like going to be suit. But if they're, they're so popular and strong, like you can, somebody who plays grand blue is going to hype that character up for what they are. Right. So that's the reason why you pick them versus what I think is a good range of characters that aren't going to be utilized probably at all. I mean, in all honesty, there, but I, at the very least there are like, for example, uh, Narmaya, there was like four or five characters that I was like, Oh, we have Narmaya. We don't need to have this character. Like, it doesn't make sense. Like, even if they could offer something different, like if I was selling a game marketing and that same goes for even characters like Gran and Jita, who are the you know male, female protagonists, there's like characters that instantly by having included them now creates a reason to not include a character that has some similar overlap. Uh, modern characters released the last five years are not going to get into where it's placed in the story. Yeah, that's that's perfectly fine. There's probably a lot of reasons for why they're doing it. But to still go right to Eternals, given the status that they seem to have, that that to me, that seems like just diving immediately into the marketing deep end. And that's there's nothing wrong with that. It's it's an observation. Um, it's just an observation of like the characters they have chosen. Um, now, obviously, the hope is that Relink would continue to update and that you would see. Uh, yeah, March is Lucilius, I think his name is right. Something like that. 
full on lost on these. I mean, it's a lot. It's 10 years of characters being added to the game. Yeah. So there's, there's a lot, but overall it was fun going over the list. Now, the fun thing is when I get to upload this entire thing to YouTube, because I'm going to do that. For those of you who don't know, I, my, I have my normal YouTube channel over 200,000 subscribers, but it's largely been focused on Final Fantasy. I started a new YouTube channel that is going to have just not Final Fantasy stuff on it. And that is where videos like on stuff like this are going to be going. So I actually need to make a command for it and probably start including it in the intro screen and whatnot. But I put out a video ranking the demo characters as well. If you're seeing this on YouTube, I recommend you go watch that. I just hope people subscribe to the channel, enjoy it. Uh, and I plan on probably playing Grand Blue pretty obsessively for the next bit of time. I'm actually pre-ordering the game from New Zealand so I can play early access on the 28th because early access for the US is not until midnight Eastern when I could just not wait till midnight Eastern because I'm gonna be swapping to the PC version anyway on February 1st. That's what the plan is looking like it's gonna be. So if you're someone waiting for the PC version and you just wanna check it out, don't really care about the story related stuff, that's fine. If you wanna to wait to watch till the PC version, I'm skipping all the cutscenes in the PC version so I can get right into multiplayer so I can actually play with my stream. So, Regardless of which platform you're playing on, you know, I'll be probably playing with people for the PlayStation version if I get there before February 1st for multiplayer. If not, I'll be playing on PC version once February 1st rolls around. So, yeah, no, don't worry. I've got that down. Yeah, the problem is obviously there's a big there's a big story element to it. But yeah, I will be live first thing tomorrow at 7 a.m. Pacific, January 28th. I will be streaming it then. But either way, uh, I'm going to wrap up the YouTube portion of this so I can just post it to YouTube. So hopefully you enjoyed me just going through that list and just giving an initial impression to someone who has never played Grand Blue before. Uh, it's 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 kind of exciting because I being brand new to a franchise is sometimes a scary thing. But despite having hundreds of characters, that wasn't really that bad. It was kind of nice, I suppose, getting into something for the first time in quite some time, I suppose. And I'm looking forward to Relink because the demo was a ton of fun. So hopefully you guys are too. So anyway, I'm gonna wrap up the YouTube side of things. YouTube, watch the video, like it, subscribe it, and you'll see this and other games on the channel. So hopefully you enjoy. So thanks for watching YouTube. I'm gonna hang out with my Twitch stream for a few more minutes. Then I gotta go to the gym. Bye-bye.